I don't want to have it misspelled or nothing. I'm sorry. But you could come up. You could just um add yourself to box box one. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was missing the ah. Let's see. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, hold on. Let me get your name right. Yeah, it's 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 spelled different than what it sounds like. Okay. <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Hold on just one second. Let me get myself ready here so we won't have everybody. Let's see. Put you in the big box. So, hey, how is everything going? Uh, everything going good. Hold on just a minute. You can't hear me right and, now. Yeah, I, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So how's um has the call you? He doing good. He doing good. Hold on. Before I start this, I'm a no, I ain't gonna I ain't going that crazy. <laughs> no, uh, I'm being turned good. up. This is, listen, let me <laughs> So this is the zero nah, for giving like panel. That. So you are free to be yourself. Um, nah, it's, you are, you it's, know, it's, you don't have to hold nothing back. You know, you don't have um, to hold nothing back here. I don't think I got too much to hold back. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it's 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 been good. And, hey, Gerard, and, you know, hey, it's been he he's he's been good. We've been good. Um, uh, each day is is be, you know he's getting more and more uh, relaxed and 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 so I just got home from work and I talked to him and um, you know I I asked him was he okay with me doing you know going back online because he was you know I had a talk with him and he was he told me that he didn't like his mom being on the app so mm -hmm. I I did talk to him and I said hey you know um you got a lot of aunties online that want to that want to at least make sure you okay and uh i said if you don't want me to you know i won't do it but he gave me the okay so um just before we walked in the, just before i left out of the house to talk I, I told him what i was doing and he was like okay don't be long i said okay he, he giving me demands already so uh -oh. he's 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 good he's good Uh, what's his favorite food to eat currently? What have you noticed that he has taken a liking to? Because we know that, and this ain't trying to bash Miriam, but we know she can't cook. So what is it that he <laughs> likes to eat um, now that he's um, with you? That's that's a, that's a hard one because we cook we cook a lot. So that I think is a is a bit of a shocker for him right now, is that we cook. Um, so I got this thing for Sunday Saturday because I work Monday through Friday, and my my schedule is pretty crazy. So uh, Saturday is usually the good day for all of the boys to normally be at home. And my sons that don't live with me are usually over on Saturday too. So like Saturday, I cook like some pancakes and, um, and you know, and, and just pancakes and sausage, just nothing crazy. Uh, and, and, and he was watching me. Uh, it was funny because he watched me the whole time. Um, but he watches me every time I cook. And I think he was just like, yo, is he really actually cooking or what is he doing? But mm -hmm. he, so far right now, he's liking everything. Um, but he particularly told me he don't eat pork. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. Because I'm allergic to pork too. So I've always got like turkey sausage in the house and stuff like that. That's kind of cool too. So okay. he's... Right now, he don't have anything particular that he liked, but he's been eating a lot and even asking for seconds. And uh, oh. so I take that as a good thing. Yeah. Is he sick of pizza? You say what? Is he sick? Is he sick and tired of pizza? Um. So so I went to the mall. So we went to the mall and we were shopping. And um, he's funny. He's funny too because I don't like large crowds of people. And uh, so when we were in the mall, he was looking kind of upset and weirded out. 
And I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, you know, he's like, I, I'm ready. To, it's too many people in here. So, you know, I, I'm all for that. I'm like, my nigga, I feel you. I don't like all these people. So I was like, let's get up out of here. And so um, before we left, he was like, I'm hungry. And I was like, all right, let's grab some food. And I was like, you want some pizza? And he looked at me and was like, nah, I don't want no pizza. <laughs> so no, <laughs> he is not eating pizza. Um, but we wound up getting some smoothies. And I couldn't get him to take his mouth off of the straw. Uh, so he he definitely likes smoothies probably more than anything. Almost every day he's been here, he's 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 had a smoothie because he likes smoothies. So I'd say that's one thing that he really likes. Okay. Okay. So how's he um, adjusting as far as with his brother's? Or do you have a daughter as well? I have no girls. Um, okay. Okay. I believe God bless me with all boys, and 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 I love it. Um, nothing against girls. I wanted a girl. I had a situation, <laughs> but uh, I don't have any girls. But I love the boys. Um, he's jumped right in. My boys are my my boys are kind of a I, I, man. I can't say this enough. You know, he kind of fell right in because my boys is amazing. Um, you know, we, we moved to a smaller place so we could save money to buy a house. And so he would have to share a room with one of, one of my sons and mm -hmm. without me and my wife even saying anything, they start moving rooms and adjusting stuff so he could have a place to, so he can have a place to be. They decided which room he was going to be in. And they also decided that we're going to get a bump bed so he can, he can have room in the room and have his own space. So my boys are all for it. Um, I do have another eight-year-old, and him and those two just was playing all weekend. I couldn't pull them apart. Um, and, you know, he's very competitive, so he's been talking junk with the boys all day. They just go back and <laughs> forth. Um, and, and and I love it. I love it. You know, that's what the boys are supposed to do. They're very competitional, you know, and, and I love it. They go at each other, you know, all out of love, no, nothing crazy. Um, but he's, he's, you know, he's jumped right in. Um, and he also, I also want to say this too. I have, mm -hmm. he has talked to uh, his sister. He has talked to his sister and his brothers. Um, so I am trying to find a way to make sure that he keeps, you know, in good contact with everybody. Okay, so you say his sister has a, he spoke with Samaya. He did. He talked to Samaya. Oh, okay. He talked to okay. Jeremiah, and he talked to Israel. He talked to him, uh, and and that was a good time for him because they just laughed and joked and and you know saying they just it, it, it's almost like I mean I I I don't want to be harsh when I say this, but mm -hmm. it's almost like they're not caring as much at this point. They're just happy. You know, um, oh, from wow. a conversation on the phone and and he wanted like, I don't care if he's on speakerphone, but he likes to put the phone on speakerphone and, and keep doing stuff. So, you know, I really did get to hear them just, you know, have fun, talk to each other. Uh, it, it wasn't no screaming. It was just talking, mm -hmm. uh, which is different because when I watched a few videos, all they did was yell at each other. It wasn't. Right. Like, yeah. Okay. So it's it's like since they're in a different environment, the the attitudes, the you know, them being mean to each other, that's not going on right now. Yeah, it's it's different. It's not um it's not what it's not what I saw. Um, but I he he kind of helped me understand certain things too about that situation. So I understand why why it is it's not what it seemed, you know, reality towards what's happening now, you know. So, um, he's, but he, go ahead. No, I, I I was waiting. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> I keep saying a lot of people in the comments they want to bless you, um, and I can't say the words, so I'm gonna just say razzle dazzle. People want to be able to, you know, razzle dazzle to kind of help with those bump beds. Could you inbox either myself or Ty your razzle dazzle, and then we can kind of put that out for you 
so that you can so, probably get a so bit of help I, with I, I am gonna put together I am gonna put together a, a wish a wish list and, and I will do that. Um you know I again I wasn't at first, you know, because I was like, you know, you know, I'm I'm fine and 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 it's is you know I can figure out things. Uh but I do know this. Uh it's a lot of people that like him. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. of people that like him and it's a lot of people that 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 was that rallied behind him so i'm gonna make sure that i put something out there you know so you can you know show him some love um the rest of us don't really need much we don't i think we're pretty solid but you know he i think he would appreciate it okay okay so reach out you said what has he spoken with his mother? Has she tried to reach out to him at all? I'm gonna shut up, Ty. I just I want to know. No, you good. <laughs> you good. Um, it's very little. I will talk about the case, right? But okay. as of right now, that's something I will be comfortable with talking about. Um, because I don't want her to. I don't want her to look like a. I don't want her to come off a certain way. As of right now, that situation is complicated. And she okay. may not be able to speak to them at the moment. So it, it, it's not that she, it's not that, you know, she don't, she probably doesn't want to. It's that they gave her some words that she may want to pause for a minute before she deals with them. Um, it's a, and, and that's another thing that the, the situation is a little more complicated than, than just, you know, uh, the app. Um, and and you know so as of right now he hasn't um i did i personally reached out to her on on here and i told her that hezekiah is okay everything is good uh and that he loves her um she didn't respond back to me but i did want to at least put that out there on my own not you know allowing him to talk to her at the moment because i don't want her to get in trouble right right so she hasn't responded basically to your message. No, but if I know anything about her um, from mm -hmm. what I've known about her in the past is when things get rough, she, she has a thing of pretending like things don't exist. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure she's going through some stuff that, you know, that we probably don't see. Okay, and and before I ask you this next question, um, do you care if or you know, do you mind if I have Hezekiah as my thumbnail while we speak with you? I'll take it down, and if you know if it's not okay, I won't. I I won't do it at all. Don't don't do it because again, oh, gotcha, I think gotcha, that gotcha. certain things may get her in trouble. And that's right, and I'm, and that's what, what I because when you sent me the picture, I didn't you know show anybody, and I didn't yeah. want to show nobody online, and yeah. I was just making sure because yeah. I just felt like that would have been inappropriate, yeah. you know, to I don't, show the I don't, pictures we, of Hezekiah. Yeah, because I I I think it won't get me in trouble, but it may get her in trouble, and right. I still have to be conscious of her because she's his mother, and gotcha. through the conversations I had with him. He 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 loves his mom. Um, mm -hmm. does he agree with everything? Nah, he a smart kid. He don't agree with things. And even some of the things that grown adults have said, you know, he said. And I'm I'm blown away by his maturity. But in the situation that he was in, uh, he had no choice but to grow up. I mean, you you look at you look at her daughter, she had to grow up. I mean, she mm -hmm. she basically became a mom. You know, you look at uh, Jeremiah, as much as, as as angry as he is, he's angry because he's forced to be an adult in a kid situation. You know, um, all of those kids were forced to be older than what they were. So I don't really fault them for a lot of stuff that they go through. It's just that right. they were they were forced to be older in, in situations where they don't have responsibilities of being somebody that's older. You know, that's like that's like one of us. That's like one of us paying, you know, somebody restricting us from something you know and we grown adults you know mm -hmm. we don't have a problem with it that's how i think their mindset is kind of okay 
Okay. So as far as a, like, I know like people have seen, you know, a lot of lives when, you know, the kids were basically like returning the same energy that she gave them when it came to, you know, cussing and, you know, talking like, you know, like kids not supposed to talk. And mm -hmm. so have you had any trouble with, you know, Hezekiah's, you know, mouth or, you know, anything um, like that? No, no. I, I, so with, with one thing with me having boys, you know, you set boundaries. That's, that's already right. from day one, it was set boundaries. I didn't scare them mm -hmm. with the boundaries. I was just like, yo, actually our first conversation with certain things was like, yo, I, I know this is a tough situation. Um, and you know, like I told him, I was like, listen, you don't, don't, you don't have to call me dad. I said, just, mm -hmm. you know, you just can't cuss me out. <laughs> you can't curse. <laughs> so if you feel like you want to curse, don't say it, use other words. So I already established mm -hmm. that, yo, even when you frustrated, don't say certain things. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm okay with saying this. Um, he, he talked to me. And one of the things that he said to me is he didn't like her being online. And he said to me, you know, certain things. And then he said that, you know, then, you know, because she wouldn't stop, we just start doing whatever we wanted to when she was online. Like, mm -hmm. it was almost like that was their defense mechanism for making her either get offline or, you know what I'm saying, pay attention to them was to act crazy and do something, do something stupid. Um, that ain't th the kids that I saw online is not the kids that I met that day. When I went to go pick them up, all of the kids were there and they were pleasant. You know what I'm saying? They did say hi to me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Of course I had a couple, I had a couple feelings about certain things because, you know, you can't be, you can't be telling me, telling my son, you ain't got no daddy and I ain't gonna have no attitude. So, you well, know, I had a, a little bit of attitude. I had a little bit of attitude I'm, when I'm I went in. I'm happy you brought that up. I'm happy you brought that <laughs> I mean, up. <laughs> I had an attitude so when that, I went that, in. That, but... that leads to the question I guess I want to know the most. How does he feel now knowing, and has he expressed how he feels now knowing that he has a dad? Because we've heard oh, us so, say that he told him that you were so deceived. So let me say this. Let me finish the, that, and I will tell you, because um, when when he was when i got there and i was like you know hey i'm coming to pick up hezekiah of course they don't know how i look so they're like who is this dude and so when i told him i was here to pick up hezekiah i'm his dad hezekiah looked at me and started smiling so i'm like okay that's a good sign then he went and he went to go say bye to his brothers and sisters and he was like he was like all right i'm about to go my dad is here and then so they came out and they was like your dad and so they did say hi to me. They were very polite. Um, and then he was like, yep, we got to go. And he just bolted for the door. He was ready to go. So I was oh, like, man. all right, I'll, I'll follow you out there. <laughs> so I actually oh, followed him out. He was really ready to go. But Cooper already told me uh, prior to all of this that, yo, your son is really ready to see you. He said, I'm telling you, he really ready to see you. Uh, and when I got there in that moment, when I seen him, like he was, he was happy. He was like, yo, let's go. I, I, it, it kind of picked up my spirit too. And he was ready to go. Mm. Um, so it's, it, it was, it was one of those things. I couldn't hug him. I couldn't anything. Cause he was ready to go. <laughs> he didn't give me the opportunity to do any of that. He was ready to go out the door. Um, and but we were able to later on that day talk and i was able to hug him and before i put him to sleep of course kiss him on his forehead and tell him i love him uh we haven't really had the conversation about you know we haven't conversated about you know everything and and yet but we have sporadic conversations and one thing i told him um uh my son told me don't treat him like he doesn't know what's going on um, my 17 year old, he, I raised him and, you know, without his mom. Uh, and so he told, he's been kind of coaching me through this and he's like, don't treat him like he doesn't know. So when I talked to him, I was like, Hey, you know, you know, I know this is a tough situation. 
I say it, and I know I haven't been there, but I was like, hey, um, we'll figure all of this out together. And I said, you know, I know I wasn't there, but from this point on, you'll always have me there. And I said, and I know my words may not reach you right now. I said, so I'll, I'll, I'll act on them. And I said, and I asked him, you know, do you understand what I mean? And he said, he looked at me and he was like, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> so he understood that, you know, what I was saying to him and, and I'm going to be there for him. And like I told him, I got your back, you know, through everything from this point on, you know, forgive me for the, for what has happened. I got you from this point on. Mm, that is so, oh my God, that just feels my heart. Yeah. And he, and, and listen, I, I said this, I said this the other day, he is, he is still, his mother is still Muriel. He <laughs> is not going to hold back his words. He, when he says something, he says it. You know, he ain't shy of talking. That's the one thing mm -hmm. I will say. Like his mom, he's not shy of talking. So with him not being shy of talking, I think it also makes things a little easier too because, you know, I'm not forcing him to talk. I ask him a question. You want to answer it? You don't want to answer it? And, he, and if he wants to answer it, he will. He hasn't really not answered anything so far. But I'm also not going to grill him about what happened in the house, what was going on. I don't... I. I He's with me now. I can, I don't, it's not that I don't, I can care less, but mm -hmm. I don't want to traumatize him any more than he has been from whatever he has went through. Right. So I don't, I haven't questioned him about anything. Okay. So um, if, if you want to like just address, um, if you feel comfortable with addressing um, to the people as far as of the years, you know, of, you not being around Hezekiah up until now. Um, do you want to explain um, the reason why, or just kind of like shorten it up um, as far as of why? I don't, I don't, I don't really think it's a, I don't really think it's, it's anything necessary. I can explain about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't there. Um, it's, it's, it's more complicated than, than she makes it out to be. It wasn't right. So for, for her, she put it out as I didn't try. Um, mm -hmm. And I didn't feel like it was a need for me to, to, you know, explain myself to anybody um, that really wasn't trying to hear it. She explained to it for eight years. I, I didn't try. I did try. Right. Um, I yeah, did you, try. you did, you um, did more than were, what you was supposed to be. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I I paid child support, so there there right. had to be a point where me and her went to court, right? Um, mm -hmm. So there was times when I would try to see him, and she would give me an address, and then she it was an old address. Uh, it was times when I went to go see her, I tried to go and see her, and it was a gate. The gate I couldn't get through, and I caught the gate called her, and they wouldn't let me through the gate. Uh, there were times where she was living in one city. I finally got information from the court where she lived. And I know it was, it, I shouldn't be just popping up, but I decided that I was going to try to pop up. And then she wasn't living there anymore. Her her situation has always been constant moving, moving, moving. Um, so at, at some point, and, and when I would address certain things, she would get uglier and meaner and meaner. And, and so one of the, the things that I didn't want to do is create a situation where she would be going at the kid at my kid because she was angry and frustrated mm -hmm. at me. So I felt like it was, you know, to back up. Right. And I did a lot of praying. Mm -hmm. um, I did a lot of praying. And um, a lot of times when you do a lot of praying, you got to be patient. Um, and, and even, you know, and I had to be a lot patient and I had to be prayerful. Um, and, you know, I may have not handled it the best way I should have or the mm -hmm. best way I could have, um, but I was doing what I thought was best. And right. again, as parents, how many times have we did something that we thought was best and it really wasn't? It's right. just, mine just was noticeable. 
um, sometimes as parents, it's not always noticeable. Mine was noticeable. And I can't take those eight years back. But what I can do is figure out how at this point I can make things better uh, for him right. and, 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 and going forward. But, you know, I made I made a mistake. Um, for guys who feel for guys who haven't been there, listen, mm -hmm. my my stepson, his dad isn't wasn't around for a while. And one thing mm -hmm. I told him is until the day he your your dad died, you can have a relationship with him. So guys who in situations like you know, with me who aren't dealing with their kids, find mm -hmm. a way to deal with them. It's not too late. You know, if, if you don't know how to approach it somebody said it somebody said it on here you better mm -hmm. be prayerful pray to god to see how to deal with it because yes. i didn't know what to do i didn't know i didn't understand how what i would do i was nervous the whole time going to pick him up you know i didn't he you know, was nervous uh, um i didn't know what to say to him um i didn't know how to say it to him and uh, for a lot of men when we don't know how to do something the e it's easiest for us to just you know go to a cubby hole and um right. and that's kind of you know i'm an engineer that's kind of the thing we do you know we go and we go into a corner and we figure out the solution and the problem the problem is i'm an engineer that's my title that's not i'm a dad those two worlds should be separate and I think I was combining those two together when I was dealing with this situation. So I had to, you know, I had to mature up, you know, about some things. And, you know, and my son and my other sons had some things to say to me about it, too. You know what I'm saying? I listened to my other right. boys talk to me about it, too. Like, yo, yo, dad, no, nah, if that's our brother, go and get him. I know that's right. If that's if that's, that's if right. that's, you know, if he belonged to one of us, go and get him and that's how it was and that's how it's supposed to be and that's why i said like i was you know hezekiah that was my favorite and it's like i'm trying to you know keep the onion from away from my eyes right now so. <laughs> <laughs> just bear with yeah. me because i'm just like so happy <laughs> when you sent me those pictures you know a couple of days ago I screamed like oh my God. <laughs> he uh, oh, baby is looking and, so good. And and you know, he he told me, you know, and, and like I said, he's you know, he is part of his mom. Let I it's no way I can make him not seem like his mom isn't wasn't a part of who he is. You know, he told me I was gonna cut his hair. I, I was dead set on cutting his hair. Um, and then I said something to him and he looked at me. I think that was the first time he looked me dead in the eye and he didn't say anything. And I was like, you don't want me to cut your hair, do you? And he told me no. And so I was like, okay. I said, let me call my niece. Let me see if she can come over here. She does hair. I said, if she says your hair is healthy, we're going to keep growing it out. Uh, the next day she showed up, she said, she said, uncle, his hair is healthy. It's, it's, it's fine. It hasn't been damaged like that. And I said, okay, that's good. I said, because he doesn't want to cut it. She said, she said, okay, listen, his edges is a little rough. Just let it grow out. She said, I'll get it, put his hair. I will wash his hair. We'll put it in a style that that's comfortable for, you know, his hair and, and we'll take care of it. Um, he got his hair done. That was the first time I seen him sit straight up. Uh, he was, he was, he was feeling his hair. So I was like, you like your hair? He was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was, it, 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 you know, so he he was okay with telling me what he, he's okay with telling me what he do like and he don't like is what I'm trying to say. So he's, right. he's talking to me. That's, that's at least good. Well, how was school going? <laughs> how was the first day of school? Was he excited? Was he nervous? Is it a... I imagine it's a better school because it's a better neighborhood. So how, how is <laughs> so, he? So he's not in school yet. So I picked him up on Thursday. We had a snowstorm on Friday. Um, so they closed all the schools. I'm waiting. Um, I just got the paperwork from CPS. 
uh, for to allow him to to start school. I got his medical records. They CPS has been on top of it, so I just got it today. Um, I'm looking to enroll him tomorrow. Um, so I'm yeah. sure how school uh, the schools work. I can get the paperwork going tomorrow, but he may not be going until Wednesday. So I'll keep you updated about his first day because I'm excited to see him on his first day too. I know, um, right? <laughs> I want him, like, the thing that has bothered me with her and all of her children was the deficit when it came to their education. The re in yeah. um simple simple math skills that bothered me because um Ty tells you this and anybody else in the chat that know me know I don't play by school work. C is a DEF CON three in my house and I don't like it. <laughs> So when I heard the kids read, you yeah. know, the fact most of them couldn't read really bothered me. So I'm I'm really overly excited to hear how school goes. And I'm I, I imagine it's a much better school. So we 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 talked about that as a family. And um we talked about that as a family. Uh me and my me, my wife, and my older two boys. My older two boys is 21. My 21 year old is in college. Uh, and my 17 year old, he's in his, so he's in his junior year. So that's one of the things, and they both live with me. So that's one of the things that we talked about is I was like, listen, you know, I was like, you know how I feel about literacy. And my, my 17 year old was like, yes, I know that. Cause I used to make him read to me every night. Um, and he was, and you know, he's a phenomenal student right now. Uh, uh, he's a motivation. I got to motivate him to get good grades. So he's, he's funny about that. But anyway, um, we talked about it and we were, and we were like, yo, my, my 17 year old said, yo, we got him. He going to be reading on a, he going to be reading on a, a high level and he's competitive too. Uh, my 17 year old and him are very competitive. Like I watched them play the video game and they're very competitive. So my son was like, yo, we got him. We got him. He got to read better than everybody in that school. I got him. He going to be, he going to be, he going to outread all of them. So we, we going to work on that. We going to get him up to speed and, and we going to have him blowing it out the water. We going to, we going to work on that. I'm excited. And we going to do it as a family. I am excited. That just, that made my day. God is good. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. We go, we, we going to have him. And he's already intelligent, right? He's already smart. He's he's very observant. Um, and so I, what I learned is when, especially, and, and I only can talk about boys because I got boys. I wish I had a girl and I'm sure all of us wish we had a girl, but um, he's with boys when they're observant and when they're, they, they pay attention to little details, they want to learn. They just want somebody to take time to, to teach it to them. Uh, and, and listen, I'm married, so I've learned patience. Uh, I'm married and I want to stay married. So I, I've, I've learned patience. So I, I can be patient with him and we can go through it. You know, I got him. We got him. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear this. It's my Monday. Yes, yes, yes. So like going forward, um, have you like, um well not going forward like have you seen like what he's interested in as far as with like sports do he like you know heck yeah, he... heck yeah. so mm -hmm. that that's the first thing i've always that's the first thing i do with my boys i pay attention to them so that's what i did mm -hmm. that's why i didn't I, I was i've been quiet for a few days i just watched him one i couldn't stop mm -hmm. smiling at him uh, so oh, I just smiled at him and I just watched him. Um, and, and, you know, uh, and, and so as I watched him, uh, I seen him interact with my sons. So one of my sons liked to draw, um, Hezekiah went over to him and was like, Hey man, that's, that's nice. So my son gave him a page out of his book and said, why don't you try to draw? And so he started drawing. So he likes to draw. He's very, he likes art. Um, and then, you know, we got video games. And of course I got boys. We got video games for days. Too many to tell you the truth. So I watched the games he played. Um, and he likes basketball. He absolutely likes basketball. But it makes sense because I come from a sports family. 
from basketball to football. I got cousins that play college level. Uh, I got I got my cousin's son just was playing for Notre Dame. So we are a strong academic and, and sports family. Um, we, 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 you know, so it makes sense that he has a competition spirit, but he loves basketball. He loves, um, he likes football. He loves basketball, but likes football. Uh, mm-hmm. He draws a lot. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and, and again, he has a competition spirit, you know, uh, so that's the thing that I've noticed about him so far. Uh, and and he has a very, very, like, um, I, I'm trying to think of the way to say it. Um, I, have a, I have a baby in the house. Mm-hmm. And he's very gentle with him. Um, when, mm-hmm. And it's funny because when we got to the house, my son... My 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 baby immediately took his because he he and his he and his walker he walked up mm-hmm. to Hezekiah and just started playing with him Aww. and Hezekiah started playing with him so actually it was my son who kind of broke the ice for him uh, in the house because he just walked up to him and started playing it's like my younger son knew like yo this guy I can deal with you know and he's brother, like that with his yeah. other brothers. <laughs> Yeah, he's like that with his other brothers. So when I see him move over to him, I'm like, okay, he has a he has a spirit, you know, a certain type of spirit for him. So um, he's very gentle with with babies and and kids, with the uh, with the bigger kids. You know, he's a little rough. He, he he'll talk his junk. He ain't he ain't backing down. But when it comes down to the baby, he is gentle. You know, he he's he tries to see if he's okay. You know, he's asked my wife, is is he okay? He's like, is he okay? Do he need anything? Um, so he he is very he has a very gentle kind of soul. Um so again, you know, he's he's coming into it with <laughs> older brothers and younger brothers. So he, you know, he he's you know, he's falling in. He's he's been doing good. He's you know, I'm 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 a little handling thing too. Do you um do you see any need a possible need for him to have therapy after you know coming from where he's coming from? <laughs> yes, yes. I think all the kids need therapy. Uh, I think the parents oh. need therapy. I think the kids need therapy because we don't know completely what went on in the house. Um, and I think that in the way that they love their mom, I don't think that they're willing to reveal everything. And that's, that's, so I heard somebody say something and they said, our first love come from our, our mom. And, and they, then they went to say, our only love come from our mom. I think we have that attitude, but it's not a healthy attitude to have. I got two boys, including Hezekiah right now that are being raised by me and not their moms. So I, I get that I get that statement is true because a lot of people in our community has been raised with just a mom. But you got to understand that love from a parent, period, whether it's a male or a, a woman, you know, they have. And so they want to protect her. And I can tell that he wants to protect her. I can tell. So that's why I won't ask him a lot of questions. But there's some things that therapy will help him and I don't care to have to know everything if therapy can help him manage through it. Now, I'll be there to guide him through everything, but I think there are some things that he may have to deal with on his own, especially with dealing with his mom. And I don't want to make her out to be anything she hasn't already made herself out to be, because as you see, I don't have to say anything nope, negative did a about good her. Job all can... so, so my thing is, Anytime I've got online and I ask her to stop is because I don't want our kids to see that, you know, stop it where it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm glad that I did that because now that I have my son and I know how much he, he loves her, I, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't, I don't regret asking her to stop, you know, because actually he wants her to stop. 
you know? Yeah. Um, and I think that was probably the biggest issue is that she didn't hear when people told her to stop, you know, they just didn't really like it. Um, so yeah. Well, I'm excited for progress. Yes, me too. I'm excited for change. I'm excited for an opportunity for him to know what it's like to have his daddy, to know that his daddy does exist, that he did not miss out on the opportunity to, to have daddy and have brother and, uh, you know, have a motherly figure in his life. Even though that's not his bio mom, he still gets to have... <laughs> you know, a taste of what a real mama is supposed to be. And so I'm yeah. excited for him to have that because, you know, it, it, you don't have to be blood to have somebody to love you. And, no, um, you that's, and I think and he's getting right. ready to figure it out and see that firsthand. And, 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 that's, I'm excited for that. and that's the thing, too. You know, I'm a I'm a stepdad. So when I say that, when I talk about my boys, my 21 year old, you you never heard me call him my stepson. That's actually my stepson, but he's my boy. Um, no, I'm my bonus. That you, you ain't got to you ain't got to say you know you ain't got to about him, but I always make sure he understands that. Yeah, I might be dad but you know you still have your father that's the one thing that we are not ever going to do in our house is act like the other parent don't exist what we do tell our boys is continue to pray that something change within the other parent and then y'all relationship change that's what we always do and that's what we say we don't we don't we ain't got no time to be bashing another parent because we understand we understand how hard it is to be a parent um so there's no need to bash the other parent. That's why I don't have anything negative to say to her. You know, uh, another thing never needed to ask anybody for anything. She's she has contacted me. I've tried to pull whether whether she accepted it or not was another thing. people can. Hold on, Gerard. I'm not I'm sure if you're do. in the area. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Are you in the area? Because you oh, were you breaking up and it was hard to hear you for a second. Okay. Uh, what's the last thing you heard? You don't bash the other parent. You keep them in prayer. Yeah. Oh yeah. We don't. I don't. We don't do that because we understand how hard it is to be a parent. You know, and so because we understand how hard it is to be a parent, we don't have time to to bash another parent, you know, but, you know, we figure and, and I tell my boys all the time, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. So it's no way I'm going to hold another parent to not making mistakes. And, and you know, that's just how we're going to be. You know, I don't um, have anything crazy to say towards her, um, you know, but I will say this she's never needed anything with me being around and, and i'm gonna tell you what i mean by that she could have always called me and asked me for anything um i gave her child support for eight years you know what i'm saying maybe not completely eight years i think we the child support didn't start until he was like one or two but she's never needed if she called me if she accepted it or not was another thing um she does a lot of accepting if she wants to uh that's another thing that that it's hard to explain that to people but it's easy to explain it to the people on here because i think you guys have seen her people try to give her advice and she pick and choose what she wanted to take in that's how she has been with me my entire my entire time knowing her she pick and chooses when she wants me to be present or anything um, I can't, you can't do anything when you dealing with a person like that. Um, that's hard because you want to help, but it, but you, you, that if a person isn't willing to receive it, it, it falls on deaf doors all the time. So uh, th that's something that I'm going to continue to ask people to pray for her in particular, that it, it, she, that she kind of accept certain help and accept certain people and accept certain things 
you know, um, that's trying to help her because I believe that a lot of people on here actually tried to help her, but she rejected it. Uh, that's my opinion. One hundred percent. Yes, I agree. And not that this matters, but it's just out of curiosity for me because I hear you speak about the Lord all the time. What type of church do you attend? What denomination? <laughs> um. So, so you gonna kill me with this one? I don't. I haven't been. I haven't. So, the church that I go to now is it's it's my cousin's church. Um, and I'm. I'm still figuring out where I belong. You know what I'm saying? I follow, it's Christian values in my house, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, you got to, as you become a dog, you start uh, looking at things in reality. Um, mm -hmm. And so you, and then you see things, you know, I grew up in the church and I grew up around church people. Uh, notice how I said church people and churches, two different things. And you see a lot of negativity and things that go on. You got people who go to church every day and they're evil. Um, and then you got people who actually attend to be good. So I'm still trying to figure out a place that's best for me. Right now, uh, my cousin has a church and, and he does it online and, and it's through Zoom and it's through his Facebook. And I usually help with that. Um, I help him with that. So I'm, I'm, I'm Christian. I'm helping Christ, build Christianity is what I like to say. <laughs> uh, at the moment, but I'm still figuring out where God wants me to be spiritually. So until then, you know, I'm saying Christianity, but that could change next year. You know, I can respect that. I can respect that works for me. Yeah, and I'm, you know, he, and I'm right with you on that, Gerard. I'll just, you know, pray to my higher power and keep it moving. <laughs> And, and 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 let me say this it's hard it's easy when you're a kid to believe what everybody tell you it's hard when you're an adult and went through things to believe everything that was being told to you so mm -hmm. i think we have to go through life and and figure that spiritual part out um and and so to help you out also my 21 year old is 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 a christian he plays he goes to his own church he plays uh, music my 17 year old he he believes in he believes that the world is what it is. He doesn't he doesn't not sure about Christianity. He's not sure about any of that. My other sons, their mom is is a Christian, so she raised them with Christian values. So my sons is whatever it's. I'm helping them 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 to figure out what they are willing to be and what they want to do. You know, because I'm not going to be here forever, and they need to figure out what they what they want to do spiritually i tell them they need to have some type of spiritual relationship that's what i do say some type of spiritual relationship gandhi buddha whatever you want to believe in you know what i'm saying you need to believe in it muslim you find something that gives you a base you know find something that gives you a base because not everybody needs a base but most people need a base that's how i believe Okay. I agree. Okay. So, if you don't mind um, sharing with the people, as far as I know, you know, like your wife, she's acceptance, you know, of Jeremiah, I mean, not Jeremiah, I'm sorry, Hezekiah. Um, so, how do you want to share, like, as far as of how she feels about Muriel? Um, so... <laughs> First of all, my wife, my wife is dope. You know what I'm saying? I made a lot of bad decisions. Listen, listen, I only have one child with, with my wife. So mm -hmm. that means that I, I'm bringing a bunch of kids from different women. And so um, I made a lot of mistakes in my younger years. And, and I had to figure out that. So when I met my wife, my wife is a wonderful person. I don't deserve her. Um, by the grace of God that I got her. Um, and, yes, and let, me tell you, let me tell you she picked me she picked me so mm. that means that god led her to me so yes i never take that to granted you know what I'm saying i was bad at picking women i was apparently but <laughs> we know that we can agree with that that we can agree with that 100 <laughs> percent 
<laughs> hey man, like you were you young, know? you was young, you were young. <laughs> we, you, know, but, you know, it was short. But you know, uh so my wife has been wonderful. My wife, I told my wife before we got married, the one thing that I, I learned is you give people the option. So before I got married, I told my wife, like, listen, these are the things that I've done in my life. I have a kid that I really would like to have a relationship with. That was Hezekiah. And I said, mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to be. I said, the most I can do is wait till he's old enough to where she's not influencing him. And then I can hope that I didn't damage him and then we can have a relationship. This is what I told my wife before we were married. I mm -hmm. told her that. So my wife has had several years to, to accept this, pull this in and everything. Me and my wife could not have kids um, because I had, you know, I gained, I had a lot of weight on me and it wasn't healthy. My wife, the same thing. And then just about during the pandemic, I was like, listen, we, I want to live for the boys. So I had to wind up, I lost like 90 to a hundred and some pounds. So, mm -hmm. and then ironically, we had another kid. We were trying, but it didn't work. So we wanted another kid. We wanted more kids. So to have one was a blessing, right? So right. to add Hezekiah, my wife is ecstatic. She could care less. She wanted to adopt. So for to have him in the house, my life, my wife loves it. Exactly. You know, my oh, wife my is God. is all for it. My wife, like just last night, she went, you know, she went uh to the store. She asked Hezekiah, do you want to go with me? You know, mm -hmm. it was like, yo, you know, I'm about to wash, I'm about to wash his coat. Do you want me to wash it? She's always talking to him. She all, you know, yeah, she's hanging out with him. Like he hung out with her today while I went to work. My oh. my wife, my my wife was built to be a mother but she only mm -hmm. had one kid when i met her but she wanted more so my wife my boys my other boys love her like they can forget about me but love mm -hmm. her <laughs> so right there by um, with her. Mm -hmm. but but let me get off of her but uh <laughs> Cause I can keep talking I talk about your her. Talk your shit. Listen, uh, step mama, man. That's what I said. I mean, shoot, it's good <laughs> but though, she, but it, it's wonderful to have women like that. She in this handled world. it like mm -hmm. a. She handled it like a. She handled it like a G. She was just like, "Yo, let's." I told her, I was like, you know, I gotta go and pick them up. She said, "No, we going to pick them up." Um, I was I like, right. "All right, you know, this is. I don't know what to expect." She said, this is what you do. She said, you go in that building alone because he should get to see you first before he uh -huh. see me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, I, I hear you. Okay. <laughs> so it, it's my, my wife is, is, is a, is a solid person. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I listen I to like her. Uh, the, I, I've learned how to listen to her, but, but my wife also knows when to step back and let me be a dad, you know, mm -hmm. Hey, don't 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 treat them like that don't don't say things so she has a really good balance um her parents have been together for years so she has a really good balance um my parents weren't together uh but my parents had super respect for each other like my mm -hmm. dad would not let me i remember i got whooped two times in my whole life no i got yelled at by my dad two times my whole time in my life and mm -hmm. both times was when I said something bad about my mom. And the one thing my dad said is, you never talk bad about your mom because when I'm not around, she was there. So right. my dad put inside of me a level of love and respect, even though he wasn't with my mom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To my dad, dying day, the last week he was in this world, he said to me, you know, I called him at the hospital and he said to me, uh hey is your mom good i called her and she didn't sound like herself i said don't worry dad i'll call her and i'll make sure she okay that's how my dad was so mm -hmm. um there so i with my wife and her parents that respect each other and my mom and my dad who weren't married and respect each other it's nothing but a lot of respect so their relationship has been pretty solid so far you know she talks to him she you know she's you know pulling them out and, and hanging out with them separate from me uh it's it, it ha i think it is going to be a different 
is definitely a is a culture difference because I'm a certain way. Um, it's it's been he's been gelling. He's been kind of jumping in with everybody, you know. Uh, oh, okay. they went to the and my wife got out to get grab the groceries. <laughs> he faking up. You know what I'm saying? So he does. So you fade it out. We let got, me say we this. Lost you at my, my wife got out okay. to get the grocery. Oh, okay. So my wife, my wife got out to grab get the groceries. And so when she went to go grab the groceries, Hezekiah jumped out of the car and said, no, let me grab them and took them out of her hand and brought them in the house. You know, one thing I want to say is we don't really. Can you hear me? We can. OK, I think sometimes we don't appreciate little stuff like that. And and I feel a certain way that I, I do. I will say this. I feel a certain way about how Muriel showed them on the app because she didn't really show how dope these kids are. Um, I heard, I, I, I talked to Cooper and I hear how he talk about his son. His son is dope. I heard him talk about the girls and he having fun. I'm talking to my son and he's he's a dope kid. I don't think they got enough love I don't think people show he, they got to see how dope these kids really are. Um, it wasn't, th I, I truly believe it wasn't them. It was mostly her, you know, um, th that's probably as, as, as far as negativity I'll say about her is I don't think it was the kids. I think it was her because I haven't seen anything that would make me say these kids is terrible. I just haven't. Yeah. And, and and you you're not the only one. We had um, received an update um, from where you know from the person who who has Jeremiah, Samaya, and Israel, and she also stated mm -hmm. that um, and actually with Jeremiah, you know, she's speaking on all of them, and she said they are doing very well at the house with her. She doesn't understand or could even identify you know where the problem was um <laughs> or what they problem was you know at the house but they're doing just fine you know they 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 eating good and eating all their food and yeah. i guess you know <laughs> the kids are respecting who they're with so um she she don't know what was going on at home that's what she said she don't know what's going on at home but they're doing just they're doing wonderful there with her so yeah yeah i mean i i wish i i mean i wish i could I, i'm speechless because like mm -hmm. i said you know there's there's normal things right like you know mm -hmm. he's not used to certain things right we we right. we're a little organized in the house he's not very organized that's something you can teach you know yeah he doesn't appreciate certain things well, he doesn't know how to appreciate things because he's never had a lot of good things. That's right. Right. Back. So you you those are things that don't make you a bad kid. That just make mm -hmm. you a kid that hasn't experienced things. So because you haven't experienced it and you haven't seen people appreciate it, he doesn't know. He didn't. He you know you we appreciate. My, we keep the car clean because we appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We keep the we keep the refrigerator full because we appreciate people eating. We you know, we do certain things because we appreciate. So it's going to eventually show him to appreciate the same things because we appreciate it. If you don't show appreciation, they're not going to show appreciation. And I and I truly believe that that it may have been the case is that they didn't see certain appreciations on her behalf and they in turn, you know, reacted off of that. But, you know, his mouth ain't crazy. His mouth, his mouth is crazy, but it ain't crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, he'll he get back. back. 
back down. with you, right? He don't yeah, back down. He don't My back boy down. don't back down for nobody. He don't so back down. What, right. <laughs> so, so that's not that's not a punishment situation. That's a mm-hmm. teach him how to manage that situation. Right, teach him a moment. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. you teach him how to manage that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you can't do that to the teacher. You do that to the teacher, that's some punishment that go on with that. And I got to punish you. <laughs> do you really want me to punish you because you can't keep your mouth in check? Of course he's going to act different. Yo, I don't want my dad to get on me, so let me react different. Of course, you just talk to him in a way to help them understand that there's cause and effect. And I think that he is mature enough to understand that. He has, you know, through my conversations with him, he showed me that he's mature enough to understand certain conversations. Mm-hmm. That's great. So, um, you know, it, it was times that, you know, um, as far as with school there, um, Hezekiah was like, I guess she has stated that, you know, a few times that he had gotten suspended. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think that, you know, that situation will change for him since he's going to be going to a new school and it's going to be in a new environment. Well, he, his, he can't get, you know, his, he can't get suspended improve. on my watch. He can't get suspended on my watch. We don't have I right. know that's right. <laughs> I know, I know that's, that's right. right. But, but what we will do is we will assess every situation and I will help him understand where he did, where he did, where he's not right or where he may be mm-hmm. right. That's what we're going to do. But he doesn't, I told him that the way we do things in the house is if Mm -hmm. I don't do it, you can't do it in the house. So that's my way of keeping me in check and keeping them in check. So if you don't see me walking around cussing out my wife, you can't go around cussing out a woman. If you don't Mm -hmm. see me, if I ain't cussing you out, then you can't go into that school and cuss somebody out. If you don't see me do it and trust me, and trust me, I can say this to y'all. I have every means to cuss somebody out. And if I can compose myself and not cuss somebody out, you can hold your composure and not cuss somebody out. So, mm-hmm. and that's how I'm going to come at him. And that's how I choose to to deal with him. And, and I, I think behavior is, I think his behavior, his behavior is different now. So I, I don't see myself having too many crazy things with him. You know, and he seems to want to learn. <laughs> I know that's right. That's the part that I don't understand. He seems to want to, but he does like validation. Um, so he likes to do something and hear you say, yo, you did good. So that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm right. here. That's what that's my number one job as a dad is to to help give validation, baby. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He is, he his hair looked at nice. reinforcement. I told him you looking yes. good. You know what I'm saying? He walking through the mall. He got some new shoes on. I it, it it's crazy because my sons seen him and was like, "Yo, man, them kicks look nice. You look nice." You know, it's because we give they give validation. They say nice things because I'm always saying it to them. You know what That's I'm saying? That's right. I give them. I I give them. I randomly give my I randomly give my 17 year old a kiss on his forehead I don't care you my son you know what I'm saying so um and so the same thing with Hezekiah every time he go to sleep good night kiss on the forehead yeah if if nobody told you I'm not looking for him to say I love you back to me if if Mm -hmm. if every single day you gonna hear me say I love you one, yeah. I'm making up mm-hmm. for all the eight years I couldn't say it. That's one. Two, that's yes. just who I am. If you if you don't hear it from anybody, you ain't never gonna hear it as much as I do. My wife always make fun of me because she be like, "You just go tell them you love them every single day, every time." I love you. I I tell my boys when they leave out to go to school because my oldest son sometimes drop off my 17 year old to school. And I say, yo, I love you. Drive safe. If don't nobody say it, you go hear it from me. My son yeah, went out of my son went out of town um, uh, a couple weeks ago, and I randomly sent him a text message while he was in while he was in Florida, and I said, yo, I just want you to know I love you, and I'm proud of you. You doing good. You working. You in college. I love you. What? 
You you what? He getting all of that. Hezekiah gonna get all of that too. He gonna As get all he of should. It. And, and ain't and guess what? Ain't nothing he can do about it. That's how I, I know that's it. right. <laughs> I know that's right. But I, I, let me ask I, you this. I, Go ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, I know. I because I just wanted to say this that. I say it all the time, you know, kids are sponges, you know, so what you say and what you do, you know, it kind of reflects or, you know, projects off to them. So if you speak, you know, if you say certain things or certain words, they will repeat. You understand what I'm saying? So when mm -hmm. she was in yeah. the house, you know, not bashing her, but it's the truth when she's in the house cussing and talking to them, you know, as if they are niggas and bitches off the street, you know, that's yeah. how the kid's going to talk to her. So when you are saying things like, I love you, um, you, you look handsome today, or you, you look good, and you know, make the kids feel special and, and good about themselves, and, you know, installing these good words in them, they're going to say it back. Yeah. And, and, it, and she was just, you know, messing up when she was talking like that. It irked my nerve when she spoke to those kids like that. And you know, and I just thought you, that was so wrong. Wow. Well, br piggybacking you know, off of what you said, Ty, was, some of the things that she said around them. Go ahead, Dry. I'm, I'm sorry. What you say, Dry? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Hold on, before you go. You know what's wild? He watches everything I do. Mm -hmm. And 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 the weird thing is, you know. Yeah, he probably watching me because he's still trying to learn how to trust me. And that's one of the reasons I asked him, is he okay with me talking online? Because I want to build a level of trust. But not only that, he watches me. Everything I do, mm -hmm. when I'm cooking, when I'm walking around the house, when I'm talking to people, when I'm holding the baby, he's watching everything I'm doing, which lets me know he trying to feed, see if this is who I am today, tomorrow, yesterday, and on. And I have to prove to him that this is who I am. This is your dad. This is what I do. And we say sometimes we ain't got to prove none to our kids. Yes, we do. We got to prove that we love them. Oh, we yeah. do. Mm -hmm. yes. We do. Have to say because if we don't, they're going to try to find that love somewhere else or through or something, something that's negative. Else. So, yep. again, yeah, so again, Again, I, I, I'm, I, you know, film me, and he try to step as I, because he wants to be as he should. Period. He should watch me, just like we watch everybody else. Mm -hmm. We watch people we go to work with. We watch people, so right. he should be watching me, and and I should add up to what to some of his expectations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's it. And that's well, let me ask you this. Um, Muriel has basically, from what we can see on this app, has been teaching her kids to hate or dislike white people and gay people. And I caught a little glimpse of one of your babies. So I want to say it's safe to say that maybe they're biracial. <laughs> um, and so I asked that question oh, that, you know, because man. this is something that she teaches. How do you plan on kind of, I guess, undoing the damage done with with that whole situation? You can't you can't do that in my life. My 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 seventeen year old my seventeen year old his mom is his mom is white. Um, my wife is Asian. My okay. son is Asian and black. My oldest son, and I'm saying this because we are a very biracial family. My my other two sons, they're black. He is coming into complete culture different. He has to he he has to understand that it's about loving everybody. He can't afford to like you can't afford to live in this world and not love everybody. Now, do what do I teach? This is what I teach. I love black people more than I love anybody else. You can't get me to say that. It's been times where some stuff has happened. And I'm sitting in the car with my wife and I look at her and I say, you ain't going to get me to say nothing bad about black people. You ain't going to do it. Because I love who I am. Just because I married somebody different, I love who I am. I'm going to teach Hezekiah to love who he is. He's going to marry who he wants to marry. Just mm -hmm. like I teach my sons, 
you are who you are. My oldest son is Asian. My 21 year old is Asian. He wants to marry somebody that's Asian. That's what you do. Love is love. You know what I'm saying? I don't, we don't, we don't play. I don't play that in my house. I don't play that. It's, it's my friend. When my friends came over this weekend, I got friends since middle school. You got black friends, white friends, Indian friends, they showing up. Now, my high school I went to was only black people. But these is people, some of these people I met along the way. Asian people, Indian people, Chaldeans. That's what my life consists of. My life consists of all different type of people. And we learn how to respect everybody a certain way. Are we going to be more prejudiced towards our people? Absolutely. I love my people more than anything. You ain't going to get me to deny that. And that's how he will be. You're going to love who you are because the first way, the first, the first to love yourself, you have to love, the, you have to love everything about you. You have to love your hair. You have to love your color. You have to love your skin. And then you can figure out how to love other people. So absolutely. He, you know what I'm saying? It's a culture shock for him, but that's cool because he need it, but he's still going to know. He's a black man, and I'm raising him to be a black man, and he's going to love his black self. That's what it is. All right. So my Now, what about the son, gay people? Because she hates gay people. Listen. She absolutely no preaches, such... and she has she has preached to them about men laying with <laughs> men, hell, you name it. Put ones in the chat you know, if y'all heard her speak against gay people before. You know, you know what's crazy about that? You know what's crazy about that? I tell my son, I tell my 17-year-old, because I tell I, I recommend my 17 year old, my 21 year old not to date right now. But what I tell them is I'm raising them to be good men, to one day go out there to be good husbands, whether that's to a man or, or a woman. I'm raising you to be a good man, to be a good partner or a good husband. Let, let, let me see. Let me let me. That girl, that girl, I'm not I'm not going to do that. Um. You know, you're always free to do it here. <laughs> Listen, no, I'm not going to do it. We, if you were raised in the black culture, right? You went to church, right? The first gay people we seen was choir directors. Not saying every choir that, director. That's the gay. truth. Now, not a minister of music. Raised, now, we, how in the hell you going to tell me you, you bias against gay people? And we were raised in situations. If you didn't have... We had crackheads walk down the street that was that was given for for crack. So you telling me we've been around gay people my whole life. Every if you lived in the hood, if you went to church, how you gonna hate gay people? That's the, hey, and that's yeah. and that's a part of that's a part of our culture. That's a part of who we are. If you if you dislike it because of your religion, go ahead, keep being hateful. But that's also why I told you earlier. I have to figure out my spiritual background because uh -huh. I can't, I can't do certain things that certain churches want me to do. I'm not going to be angry at somebody because they're not what they, they're not Christian enough or they're not Muslim enough. I, I can't do that. So that's why I'm saying I'm figuring out my Christian walk as well, because I don't always agree with everything. You know, I can respect that. That's that's just it. But he can't he can't afford to hate white people. He can't afford to hate gay people because everybody gonna be around me. And I come from a business family. I'm an engineer, and we always around people, always. You know what I'm saying? And and so if he gonna be if he gonna be something one day, which I know he is because I see him, I can see it in him. He gonna be around all different type of people. And he gonna have to integrate with all different type of people, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna be there to teach him how to respect everybody, watch him, but also respect him enough. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. So, um, Cola, James, did you have any questions for Gerard, sis? No, sis. Y'all hit everything on the head. Gerard, praises to you. You are a stand-up guy. And we knew from the beginning that
that all them kids needed was a change of atmosphere and it would bring out the best of them. So salute to you for getting your son. You, you're dope. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Well, on a, I, in, in a joking, I got a jokingly question, but I guess um she may be kind of serious. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. You know, my my petty sister on this app, Scorpio Sniper, um, has inquired that you know if you may want to take on a sister wife because um, <laughs> she she likes what she's hearing. She likes what she hears. No. Scorpio, can you say something in the comments? She listen. She's a beautiful woman. She got nice heavy bosom. I mean, hey, y'all might be on to something. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I might be on to something. Oh goodness gracious. No, but um, no, this she is goes. so wonderful, Derrod. I just I really appreciate you from you know for coming over here and and just and keeping us, you know, updated. Oh, he's in the blinds right now. Shanice say it's more of us down here. Wait a minute. Now how many sister wives y'all trying to to get my man with now? <laughs> I guess he go get that daughter out though. Y'all keep it up. I'm so happy this happened today. This was a feel good time. Like this, you know what I'm saying? Like this was real nice to hear from him what's really going on with Hezekiah. Yeah. Like it's okay. nothing but up from here. Well, y'all got to um, remember. I'm I see y'all in. I'm a, but I say Hezekiah, I know, I'm a Hezekiah told him not to be on here too long, so we might have lost him. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna oh, see no. if he's open to. Oh, okay, he lagged out. Well, he he more than likely gonna come back. Um, so I'm just give him a chance to get back here. But I'm gonna, you know, ask him if he is willing to, you know, have any questions from anybody down in the comments. Um, and please keep it cute, okay? Yes, or you will get I, kicked. I'm, I'm We're not, not having no ignorance bullshit. today. Keep it fucking cute. And no questions about the case, because he said he can't answer questions about the case. And we want Hezekiah to stay in a safe environment. We don't want to jeopardize right. that. Um, yes, especially, do. you can kind of, I mean, not kind of, if you got ears, you can hear who's the better parent. So let's not try to get him jammed up in a situation, okay? Right. Right. And no, Hezekiah, um, and Gerard, if you back, you can just, you know, um, Join the queue and I can let you back up. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Hello? Hey, Gerard. Yeah, yeah we, we can hear you. Okay, I was struggling. Hey, Zakaya, you telling you to get off the phone? <laughs> no, you you know, that, that, that was guy, because she was like, sister wife, don't be playing with me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Don't be messing well, up. Well, that's y'all answer for the ones, trouble, ones for the ones in the comments that you know she ain't having it. She ain't having no. it. It's not like going. You know, okay. but it's it's funny because I told because th that's the one thing me and my wife. You know, me, I love my wife. We've had the tough conversations. You know, we've had conversations, and I and I'm saying this because I recommend other married people to do the same thing. Have conversations about if cheating goes on have conversations about if you want to be with somebody else have conversations about all this stuff me and my wife before we got married we had all of those conversations that's mm -hmm. why this isn't this isn't anything that's surprising um we we had tough conversations the reason i wanted to have tough conversations because i wanted to get all that mess out of the way right so my wife is my listen my wife is my wife has never told me that I couldn't do anything crazy. My wife is totally, if I do something crazy, you know what I'm saying? My wife is, don't have a problem with that. But my wife don't want to be surprised. That's what right. she's always told me. She don't want to yes. hear from nobody else. She wants to hear from me. And she wants it to be a respect between me and her. And I'm going to be honest with you. Even though she even gave me that rule, even though she told me that, it, it's almost like, the fact that you she told me that, to. I don't want to mm -hmm. do it. Period. Right. <laughs> Period. I like. You, what? What? I like. What? What do you need? <laughs> you know. What? What can another woman give you that she's not already? You know, giving you. I you know, got the complete she, package right I there. I know mm -hmm. she messed up the game. 
Period. Now she ain't mess it up. <laughs> she ain't mess up nothing because I don't blame her. Listen, with y'all know the, women know the difference between sugar and shit, and she knows she got sugar, and you know you got it too. So why mess it up? Why and, mess and it up? That's why, nobody that's, it. Why, that's why I say that's why one of the things that when when she when she has tried to say stuff about, about me. Um, because I, I, somebody sent me the video when she was talking about me, talking about your family got to be surprised. This, this, and this, my family ain't surprised. My family ain't surprised. And I, they welcome my yeah. baby with open arms. And that's Thank it. you. That's it. Yeah. You heard me. You heard me say I called my niece to to do his hair. She was there the next day. You want to know why? Because I'm a cool uncle. Because I make sure <laughs> I right. take care of my nieces. When 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 they dad was in a situation. I made sure every Valentine's Day until they got out of high school in Dayton that I bought them Valentine's Day gifts. Because I, I wanted right. them to know and if your dad couldn't be there, I got your Mary you fucked up, man. Mary you really mean, fucked up. Because so Gerard sound like a good... That. If you like, no like you could have had something, yeah. bitch. You, you could have had ball. something. Or, and let or me, you and dropped let me, it and stepped this. on it. And, and let me say this. I didn't I didn't date her because she was a young girl. She went hard for me. My problem was it was a situation and all I and I didn't and it wasn't that I wanted to break up with her. I just felt like she needed to deal with that situation before she could deal with me. Mm -hmm. And she chose not to and got upset with me and then that sent us down this path. I've never, we've never had any, we never went through any domestic violence stuff. We never went through anything. So my thing was, I was, I did prepare for a person that I could be with. That's what the ideal was. The -hmm. problem was in a month and a half, I realized she couldn't be that. Right? So, Mm -hmm. but in a month and a half, apparently my dumb ass, couldn't put on a condom well i didn't i chose not to put on a condom right. that is my mistake mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying so that's the catch the with blessing. our situation mm-hmm. that's the catch with our situation it was just that i didn't think she was there enough to be in a relationship and and again we were having fun of course you have fun within those first two three months but right there's something that click there's something that click inside and say yo is this for me? And I and I realized that it wasn't for me. Uh, I realized it wasn't for me after she lost it. And um, and you you seen some of the messages. You seen some of the messages. She lost. Yeah, I seen it. some of them and too. When, that bitch was crazy. And and when she lost it, I made a decision, and I made a decision to protect the people that I love. You know, mm-hmm. by not dealing with her. The baby situation just made it more complicated and more complicated and more complicated. But I had already, we were dealing with each other that it wasn't going to work. And I think that bothered her more than anything. You can't be, you can't be, listen, if Tupac broke up with you, Mm -hmm. you will feel a certain way, right? You'll be like, okay, Tupac broke up with me. But if Biggie broke up with you, you like this fat nigga ain't going to. So I was Biggie. She wasn't ready for me to break up. I don't up with know. Her. I like fluffy niggas. I, I'm a chubby chase. I like fluffy niggas. So that's all listen, right with me. Listen, I feel some kind of listen, way. Listen, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm telling you right now. I didn't realize until I got older that my wife is older. I love older women. I love older women to death. Um, not only that, I like thicker women. So there is, there is, and so again. My type of one, my wife laughs at me because she says, that's not even your type. I know Mirio is in my type. Uh, I just thought this could, you know, step outside of myself and do something different. My black ass should have stayed exactly where I was at, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but, you know, that's that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? But let me also say this, too. This person you have now wasn't that extreme when I was dealing with her. Remember, I came at her only having two kids. 
this extreme of her now, I didn't get to see this. So as you guys are watching certain things now, I'm starting to see it too. And, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's not just scary, but it's one of those things where I say, yo, I know when a person need prayer. So pray for her. So mm -hmm. if you, if you go, if you go, if you go say stuff, pray for her. If you go, you know, be mad at her, pray for her. You, that's a person that needs some serious prayer. And when you play with spiritual stuff, this is what I've learned too. When you play in the spiritual realm, spiritual things are going to come after you. She has played in the spiritual realm so much that the only way to get her out is, is, is spiritual prayer. So what I'm saying to people is they need to start praying for her. That's fine if you want to send her cash apps. I wouldn't, but I would pray for her. That's fine if you want to make Do comments, you think but I would pray for her. Do you think that she has the potential to be a better mother? Ooh, that was mm. a good question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be getting out of my feelings about that one. Ooh, that was a good one. Um, I think he answered the question. <laughs> I want. I want to believe. I want to believe so. And, and I, if you would have asked me this question on Wednesday before I picked up Hezekiah, I would have told you, I would have gave you a different answer. But I think that I'm hopeful now because of Hezekiah. Um, he, he makes me want to believe in her again because he does. But the adult in me says, the adult in me says, we've been down this road before. And I just mm -hmm. got to prepare him for whatever may come. come so right. I want to right. believe that she can be, but I've also have to prepare him to, to be able to deal with whatever comes our way when it comes down to her. Okay. So Hezekiah is still holding on the faith that. that she may change for the better is what you're saying, basically. No, it's of just course. the love that he has for her. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, as of course. his mother, you know. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And, and and that's a that's a great answer, Gerard. I, and that's, I and there's no that. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's no way I cannot I'm we supposed to hope with each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We supposed to hope with our kids. So I I'm um that's where I'm at. You know, I'm I'm I gotta believe for him. Um, now the question is, do I want him to go back? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. You know, I don't want him to go back. Um, is that decision up to me? Not really. But you know what? I'm going to do everything to try to keep him in my house because I feel like I can do a little better. Yeah. Okay. So do it you is think a, like a temper. It's a temporary custody right now. <laughs> As. <laughs> as a paperwork right now but again right there's things there's things that she didn't even talk about and there's things that i didn't learn until i went into that hearing and there's things that has not been completely revealed so we don't know what's going to happen but everybody listen i came on i came on here and i said and i never I never made excuses for not really being there. Well, I did make a few excuses for not being there for eight years, but mm -hmm. I, I accepted that I needed to do better. And mm -hmm. so it's a lot. Some people need to just take accountability. And it's and it's and it sucks when people make you take accountability. Because when people have to make you take accountability, you're no longer in your in control of it. They're now in control. So she's she's a little bit of a controlling person, and now she has to deal with people who now have you know telling her that they're in control and i don't know how that's going to end up you know do you and, think hezekiah no matter how you know it's it's tough do you think hezekiah realizes that his mama was lacking in the the motherly aspect of what mama's is now that he kind of sees what a normal family is 
you know, what a normal family runs like. He saw thank you. I don't know who sent that, but thank you. You breaking up. Listen, he saw, he saw it before he walked into my house. Yeah. Okay, so from my understanding, can you hear me now? I can. Yes. Hey, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. So we from my from talking to him, from talking to him, I think he's realized it a while ago. Um, I think that he realized certain things weren't supposed to be like this. He's he's a very He's very observant. They are, I believe that those kids are way more mature than they should be at their ages. So I think he know he looks at things and he already kind of knew that. Um, I think that he's kind of in a state of shock right now that we actually move the way we do. You know, I cook in the morning, you know, I cook dinner, you know what I'm saying? I actually, you know, I think he's a little more shocked about that, you know, but this is what we do. Are you so, concerned um, for Muriel's mental health? Like, do you think that she has some mental issues? You, you asked I mean, did, did you did you see the text I, messages she sent me? I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I've been I, worried. I've been worried for a well, long to, time. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Those messages to me don't signify mental health. It seems like a woman who got good pipe. And didn't know how to let it go. That's what I you read. Stupid. When you I stupid, I ain't gonna play with you on that one. <laughs> but so, it's the yeah, truth. Stupid. That's. <laughs> but that's what I so read. I that's what. So I, I do believe. I do believe that there's certain things. Um, we have to accept that, that uh, addictions are addictions, right? Um, we we are we're most commonly known to addictions as being, you know, alcohol, cigarettes, uh, sex. But what we're not prone to is um uh uh so we, we which is new right it's new uh social media presence is is can be an addiction people mm -hmm. looking at you is an addiction we 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 are and remember some of us are a lot older so we remember we remember dial up right we remember the Mm -hmm. So we come from that era. So that era understood addiction as, as what it was. Now these are new addictions that's showing up. Social media, you know what I'm saying? D stuff we ain't never did before, lean. Stuff we ain't play with, Percocet. Stuff we ain't do. So now these people are on new different addictions. And I believe that these new level of addictions, you do need certain help. And, is, and it does mess with you mentally. So I do think she she probably need to figure out her mental status. And I don't think she need to figure out her mental status for me uh, or for any of the other dads. Figure it out for the kids. You know, because mm -hmm. more than anything, they want it. So if you if you you can say forget me, you can say forget everybody on this app, do it for them. So has has Akaya um spoke with you yet? I know you know everybody is getting to know each other and get comfortable with each other, but has he um brung up or like talked about situations that happened at home or um anything regarding Patrick? Um so I don't want to trigger anything, so I've kept it mm -hmm. I've kept it very vague and narrow. Um, and my son gave me some advice too. uh, mm -hmm. you know, just let certain, ask certain questions. Don't treat him like he doesn't know. So he did reveal something to me that was very major. Okay. Um, and, and it was simple. Mm -hmm. It was simple. It was something simple that I believe that it was simple for her to adjust and change. And she refused to. Mm -hmm. um and it and it caused in certain situations to happen uh unfortunately it's certain things is just real sad um right. and 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 so he's told me stuff i found out stuff from the hearing i'm mm -hmm. finding out different things and just to be honest with you i think it's more than even that was that we all know 
So mm-hmm. I don't do let, let me say this. Let me say this. A lot mm-hmm. of people on this app may have been the reason why certain things got attention, but mm-hmm. there was a catalyst that was going that that was being pushed way before you guys got addressed to it. And right. her a lot of her issues happened prior to this. A lot of right. you know stuff happened before this. If you if 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 you get if we bring think, all y'all did mm-hmm. all y'all did was all y'all did was bring marshmallows to the right. campfire, right. and some of y'all gra- brought, brought the marshmallows. Some of y'all brought the graham crackers. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. You know, some people brought different things. You know what I'm saying? And then some people, you know what I'm saying, threw water on the fire, right? Mm. But mm-hmm. nonetheless, none of y'all started the fire. Uh, uh, no, I knew this, that. Mm-hmm. Nobody on this app started that fire. She started the fire and she brought all everybody else into it. Right. You know, and she won't take responsibility for that, for which is mm-hmm. weird to me. You know what I'm saying? Because right. there's certain things that you got to be like, yo, I did this and I created this. And, and I think that's when change is going to happen. The reason I say the reason I say there's a level of mental mm-hmm. health that, that needs to be dealt with is because I don't think that she took any of this serious. I don't think she ever takes things serious unless mm-hmm. um, it affects her pockets. Right. Um, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Then let me ask you this. Do you think she purposely started this fire? Mm. Man, you killing me with the good questions. Um, Mm. I wish people would kill me with some beans. I'm just coming off a six day ban. I'm just saying. (laughs) Self-consciously? You know, you know how like you like some people, you know how like some people say they 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 just draw stuff, negative stuff is drawn to them. Um mm-hmm. I think that's her. I think that self-consciously it ha- she did it on purpose, but she didn't realize that it would get this bad, right? She didn't realize it would be like the like she go like I think in her head she went this would be fun, right? But then the fun turned into, this is really fun. But just like an addiction, right? It's cool to dibble dabble in it, right? Y'all dibble and dabble, right? Y'all, it's like alcohol. Y'all drink alcohol. She drinks the whole fifth and then go and get another fifth and then take a Percocet with it and then Mm. smoke weed. Mm. Like, stop, stop. Mm. Everybody else on here is drinking the alcohol, but you're taking other stuff with it. Stop. Mm-hmm. And I don't think when a person is addicted, they don't know how to stop. And, and that's mm-hmm. why I think her issue is, is she she shouldn't have played with this because she don't know how to stop. Because even now right. she doesn't know how to stop. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't at all. And I don't it's, think it's she want to stop. Yeah. Some people who like alcohol, I don't think she want to stop. Some drug addicts like being drug addicts. Ad- Lord addicts, Lord, I can't talk. Yeah. Some people who yeah. do who drink like to drink. Um, same thing with cigarettes and anything else. Some people like the addiction. They don't want to stop. They even fall in love with it. That's why it's called an addiction. And in her case, yeah. I don't see her wanting to stop. She started the fire. She likes the fire. She's been burnt by it. She enjoys the colors, the heat, so on and so forth. And at this point, like there's no stopping. Cause I don't see her fighting for Hezekiah or the rest of the kids. I don't ever, I that's, don't ever see her fighting for them. That's why we gotta hold people like this up in prayer, right? Mm-hmm. If this was your cousin, if this was your cousin, what would you do? Hold him in prayer. If this was your uncle, you would hold him in prayer. If this was your parent, you would hold him in prayer. That's what I think needs to happen. There need to be. We know the family not gonna hold her in prayer. You know, right. at, at least mm-hmm. if they are right, at least if they are, you know, they need help. They need more people to help hold her up in prayer, because if they ain't already been having her in prayer, they need help. And so the one thing that I do know is a lot of people on here has prayed on the back end for me. 
and mm-hmm. things have worked out a certain way, people on here gonna need to pray. Mm-hmm. You know, um, okay. because I don't, I don't, I don't get it. My addiction, my addictions is a little different. My addictions is the Skittles. Okay, <laughs> Starburst. Okay, you know what I'm saying. My addiction might be food, but what I've learned when I when I started losing weight is I can still have all that stuff. I just got to do it in moderations, right? right? So her thing is she needs to, if she's going to stay on here, she just needs to do it in moderation. Mm -hmm. Um, If you can't control the moderations, don't do it at all. But I can't tell her what to do. I've never been able to tell her what to do. Um, I've never been able to suggest what to do. You hear how she talked to me when I talked to her nice. Right. Um, She has no respect. None. And, Mm -hmm. and, And she, and the thing about it is, this is how it always been with me and her. I've mm-hmm. never talked to her with disrespect and I don't have time to do it. Right. And so with that being said, um, do you feel that she is going to take the proper steps that she needs to take, even though, you know, if we hold her in prayer and, you know, all that good stuff, but do you think that she is going to take the proper steps to get her children back? Man, y'all keep giving me some good questions. Jesus, I wasn't even going to take no questions today. <laughs> um, let me say this. Let me say this. Uh, I don't know, but I, mm. you you guys pray for me to figure out. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I got on that phone call with Charlie, I was dead set on. I didn't want to deal with this girl no more, no matter what. Right. And through conversation and prayer, y'all made me completely changed my mind uh talking to cooper completely changed my mind i'm 38 and um i a lot of the people on here was able to help me change my mind and 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 do certain things so at 38 i'm still changing my mind i want to believe that she can continue to change through prayer Mm -hmm. and through through people talking common sense to her so so Maybe you're, you're breaking up, Gerard. You know, I, 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 she, uh, Hearts in the comments, y'all. You breaking up, Gerard. I'm sorry. Right. It's hard. We we couldn't hear nothing you were saying. Um, so I, I want to believe that that she can, you know, she will fight, but mm-hmm. uh, but again, I don't. I, I mean, just pray for her and, and maybe it worked for me. Maybe it'll work for her. I don't know. Right. But I, 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 I just don't know. You know what right. I'm saying? And she's she's such a sporadic person that you don't know. And you don't know if it's serious or not. Like, mm-hmm. I got sent something to me and they said she was crying online. You know, it's hard because, one, I want to have sympathy and empathy but I don't know if it's real. And that's, Mm -hmm. and that sucks, right? Nobody ever wants to look at a person and go, I don't even know if they're being real because of so many lies they've told me. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if she wants to or she will. I just don't know. No, I, 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 Mm -hmm. So, um, Gerard, question, are you open to any question? I know you said you didn't really want to answer anything. So, and if you are not, you know, you don't want to answer any more questions or anything like that from nobody else, that's completely understandable. This is, you know, for you and for you to be comfortable. So were you open Mm -hmm. to answer any questions from like any of the commenters? I'll do I'll do some I'll do some questions for about another couple minutes. Yeah, I won't mind doing that. Okay, okay, that's fine. So um, I just uh, you, you just you 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 you're not gonna get me to say anything bad about her. So right, comments, no, yeah, you can, cuss I me, completely... you, you can cuss me out. You can tell me about myself. 
No, I'm not. Nah, ain't nobody no, cussing no. you out. Anybody come yeah, up here with that food on line, you getting shot yeah. the hell up out yeah. of here. So come up <laughs> here <laughs> with some sense and some respect. Yeah. This is this is right. a cool panel. We not in the mood for it. Yes, they, yeah, they will I, be kicked I, and bu booted. I ain't going for no. I told everybody that before you even came over here. It ain't no disrespect. Keep it cute, please. Yeah. Cause you <laughs> listen. Snipers is on deck, and you will be out of here before you get to <laughs> finish your damn question. If it's if I sense that it is a little bit of shade, disrespect, any of that shit, you gone. So if you in the queue and you on bullshit, get the fuck out. So, um, sister, or anybody can want somebody drop for me, please. I ain't want to open up the boxes no more. And what they already. Hold on, just one second. I know I had um Stephanie. Hey, Steph. in my garage. Hold on. Hey, baby. Hi, Gerard. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Can you hear me? You know who this is, right? Uh, no. This is Stephanie, the girl that originally reached out to you. Oh, okay, okay. So you're the number that I called <laughs> when uh, for, for Hezekiah to talk to the kids. No, I'm the girl, the very first girl that reached out to you. I'm the one that connected you with Charlie. Remember, Stephanie? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I just wanted, because so I'm one, not So really... you're one of the ones that found me. I'm the one that found you. There you go. <laughs> so I just wanted to applaud you because you know that first conversation man you had, you were like over it. You were like, I'm not dealing with her. She's fucking crazy. She did this. And you even show me the messages to really prove that she really was not fucking together, you know? And if I can be quite honest, um, I felt guilty for reaching out to you. I felt bad because I know that's kind of like the, the the foundation of Beagle. That's what people do. And they do it maliciously to try to destroy people's lives. But when I did it, it was really out of a state of concern. Um, and I, I felt so guilty. I'm like, why did I do that? Oh, my God. And when you connected with Charlie and you guys had that interview. Oh, I'm I sorry, Stephanie. Yeah, I, I can't do it, ma'am. I, I can't we do don't, it. What's wrong? No, you don't go. You no, don't go to Walmart and, and right. promote Kmart. You don't do that. Don't and do I it. understand you connected Wait, him with. No, it. So what's the well, what am I doing let, wrong? Let, no, can you let, ask? Let no, me, I was just. Say, I was hold just. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, so I kind of get where she's trying to go. Don't don't feel bad that you reached out to me. Don't feel bad. Yeah. You did. Listen, God leads people a certain way, and 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 in certain situations. Don't feel bad that you reached out to me. Um, I think it was Scorpion Sniper. She she wrote me. She boy, she said so many things about me. And you know what I'm saying? I had to sit back and I had to think about some stuff she said. So you didn't do anything mm -hmm. wrong. You guys were concerned. Okay. And I let me say thank you for reaching out because I would have never knew any of this stuff was going on. So and thank that's you for what I was trying out. to get at. And don't, yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. Bad. Just applauding you. Yeah. yeah and, and, and that's all don't I was feel trying bad. to say. It wasn't to offend anybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, don't no. feel um, bad. Okay. Don't feel bad. You didn't do anything wrong. I think a lot of people on here, and I've learned that, has just is is it was just concerned, and they and I think a lot of yeah. people wanted me to feel more concerned. I, I think a lot of people wanted me to to be more concerned about Hezekiah than my own personal feelings about her, and I think they were right. Um, and I'm glad that yeah. that people reached out for Hezekiah more than just reaching out for me but You're but right. I, what i what i say is thank you but what i yeah. also will say is uh, for some people you know when you're reaching out to people pump your brakes because i, I generally I, like i have a different personality so mm -hmm. you know i accepted it but somebody else could be really evil and right go at you a certain way right. so be careful about and that's why that i was time. so skeptical afterwards yeah and you're right and that that was my whole reason why i brung bring it up because i was like oh my god why did i do that did i open no up you're fine you're fine you know oh, you're that's why, 
That yes. was a good so, thing, yes. girl. So you guys, it, it wasn't me coming up trying to be like rude or anything like that. It's just that that's what had been on my mind because it it's just serious. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, right. I feel bad, but now, but now seeing the the end result of it is beautiful. It's, yes, it really, it, was it really thing. is. It's mm -hmm. a wonderful thing. It is. So y'all have a good day. You and too. I'll, I'll be on the call. All right. Thank <laughs> All right, you. All right. And i um, and make sure y'all what's for dinner tonight together. You said what's for dinner tonight? Man, tonight you gotta fix your connection. Tonight, baby. You cook every you cook every morning and every I afternoon. Do. What's tonight, for dinner? Tonight I'm doing a uh, a Louisiana style pasta. Uh I'm doing a uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be linguine, um, it's gonna be uh turkey sausage, uh chicken. And what I normally do for my Alfredo sauce, I do a tomato creamy sauce, and um, and I'm gonna just do spinach. Keep it simple. I know, right? I want to come to his house, y'all. Get y'all a fluffy nigga. They be winning. <laughs> they be Period. winning. Hey, true, true. You probably got yourself. And for on those mute. of you who keep, just click. I don't click see on the it box anymore. And. I she in the queue. I because I y'all I hope y'all connection and everything is you know together. True, because I know true had gifted. True, I'm gonna drop you. Um just come back, okay? Cause we, you know, he can only do this for a couple minutes. So I need y'all to have y'all connection and everything together. <clears throat> Yeah, just make sure y'all ain't got no apps running in the background. Um, make sure you don't got no any other devices sitting next to you, cause it's you know y'all connection it would be messed up or hard to hear you. So just make sure y'all got everything together now. Nah, nah, you know you you in the blinds, baby. Just come back if you know if he's still here. Baby doll. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey, Jerome. I talked to you once before, and I've been crying. I'm driving. But anyway, I just want to thank you, because when you were talking about how what you went through with her and how it affected you, I was one of the ones who told you, you know, your son needed you, because if it affected you like it's as an adult, you can imagine what's going on with him. And I just want to thank you for sharing with us because we do love him. I love all the children, but he he just stood out to me all the time. And when you were talking about him learning, he used to cry to do homework. So he's not slow. He wants to learn. So I just mm -hmm. want to share that with you. And you. And 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 again, you know, I'm I'm a type of person I take information in. So mm -hmm. and I'm thankful for the people who said certain things, read in the comments or to me. Because I needed, I needed that tough love that night. Um, mm -hmm. I needed that. Hey, hey y'all. Good evening, everybody. Um, I just wanted to say, oh, uh, God bless y'all and Gerard. I, I noticed the difference from when you first came on and you were bashed a lot, but you kept your truth saying, I might need to go to psychiatrist to see something that's too much for me. <laughs> but guess what? All praise be to God. And it's so easy for somebody to judge somebody, but you're not in their shoes. And, mm -hmm. and you turn around that quick. So all the praises you getting amongst all the praises you didn't get that day, because I remember everybody bash you. Oh, brother, you don't want to stand up and all that. But you kept it honest. This is a lot for me. I didn't notice that lady told me, stay out. Just pay me. And you abide by the wishes because it's easy to protect your spirit and your energy. But guess what? What God got for you, can't nobody stop. You know? Mm -hmm. And even though, and, and even then when they were bashing you when you first came on, you didn't say a bad word. You didn't say nothing bad about it. You just said, y'all understand I'm protecting my energy. And you moved in God's way. You didn't move in the people's way. You moved in your way. And look what God has done. And 
I, I fall short of the glory and I'm not perfect, but I'll say this. If you don't believe in God, look at Gerard in this situation and every sister that sat on this panel that held him down. Sometimes we want to shit to move in our way. It ain't about our way because at the end of the day, it's his call. It's, it's on him. And I just want to say, God bless you, Gerard. God bless the panel, everybody. And anybody that judged him, you have no jurisdiction on the high almighty God. If that is. Yeah, and God bless you, <laughs> you did that, brother. Thank you. <laughs> you, you sat through all yeah. the torment and all the name calling, and you didn't allow it to move you. Because mm -hmm. when you move it in God's way, it can't, it can't nothing be done with you. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Reveal the Truth. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and that, that was a, that was a, a lot of people may not know when I did that with Charlie, I had only knew about information for about maybe less than 48 hours. So mm -hmm. I was, I was under a kind of, I was in a state of shock for a lot of stuff. Um, and I was, I was angry. I was a lot of emotions, but I, I remember that day it was one girl and I'll never forget it. It's, it's things that that make you change the, your your conversation that you never forget. The girl, I told that girl that she was being too emotional, and I and I mm -hmm. and I thought about that, and I said I would never tell my sons you being too emotional, and that's what changed my attitude about the whole that whole interview was. I just said something I wouldn't even tell my own sons, um, and so that day I had just got through the information. And I needed to step back and just pay attention to things, you know. Right. And another thing, I've let me say this: my my I was y'all see me now, but I was raised by a street. My brothers were street dudes, so the way you do things in the street is you move in silence. Right. So when I said I was thinking about it, when I said I was thinking about it, I went mm -hmm. back to my brother, how my brothers taught me how we do it in the streets you mm -hmm. move silent you back up you say little you watch everybody you watch everything mm -hmm. and, you, and you move in silence and that's what i chose to do so and you did and that was wonderful and that's what i like i applaud you you know with as well because mm -hmm. you you could have you know got angry you could have got mad you could have been like forget this i ain't dealing with this shit. you know i pay my child support so i ain't got to you you didn't do that. You you stepped up, and and you you was that you know that honest man. And I respect you for that. You understand what I'm saying? Because it you just don't find you know too many men like you. And and I want to say thank you for doing that because you know like I said and I'm gonna keep stressing it. Hezekiah is my baby, and I was ready to I go know. to Detroit that's, and kick her. That's why. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you this, and that's, and that's one of the, and, and one of the reasons why I was I was willing to to talk to you is because you know saying you you you've been solid about that since day one since I talked to you you like that's my boy you better take care of him so right uh, <laughs> I, I still want Jeremiah really bad it. but I'm sorry I do listen when I, I met Jeremiah him, bad behind when I, I met do, him, I want him. when I met him I wanted to take him too but they did put something in the paperwork she she wanted it in there i believe that wouldn't allow us to take any other kid so oh, wow. i would have loved to take him i would have loved to take take him i have friends i had my friend uh said to me if don't nobody take the twins i'll i'll take them my i have i had people that were willing to step up outside of me to take on any of the kids um that's just how the people around me are we we don't just look at the one that belonged to me we were looking at all of them and saying if we tell tell cps we'll take them you know what i'm saying that's what we do that's that's the support he got is we taking care of all of them so but again thank y'all for for the comments <laughs> thank y'all for 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 yeah, saying something I to love me 
I love Jeremiah. I break yeah. him like a wild stallion. I love to have that little boy. <laughs> and I got some more people in the queue. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, can you hear me? Just want to make sure before I say anything. You you sound kind of low, baby. If you want to just turn your yeah. volume up a little bit. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Now. Okay. So um, I just have a question about when you first went to go get Hezekiah, because um, from what I was hearing that he didn't really know that he had a father to begin with. So how did that interaction go? Like, was he scared, timid? I don't know if he went over it or was... yeah, but came in a little late. Listen, man, he it, this this is the one thing I remember. He is his mother is Muriel. So it's not a lot of fear, you know, she has. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he was afraid. Uh he was excited more than anything when uh because when i got there cooper was putting the girls in the uh car seat me and cooper kind of got there at the same time uh cooper was putting the girls in the car seat he was getting them together they had all you know matthew was running over there hugging on everybody uh and then i came in and so everybody thought i was with cooper uh but they just don't didn't know me so when I told the lady I'm here to pick up Hezekiah, I'm his dad, that's when he looked at me and stared at me and started smiling. Aww. Oh, y'all about to give me chokes over here. I love to hear things like this. Uh, <laughs> no, because, you and, know, uh, when we're watching on like, the app, it was just, we thought, like, the kids had no family, no hope outside of Muriel and her little people. So, honestly, I'm surprised and I'm happy that he actually does have a support system outside of that toxicity because it was really bad. Yeah. Like just watching at that least, every day. It was terrible. At least the kids, at least the kids have a support group outside of that. Maybe not her. She may have burned her bridges, but right. I don't think the kids have burned their bridges, which is good because they're and and I know that to be true because when I saw those kids interact with each other, they still they through all of the stuff that they went through, they still found a way to love each other that's mm -hmm. why i want to and i will try my hardest to keep him in contact with his brothers and sisters i think that's going to be very important to the development of him being with me and the development of him being a man as he grow get older uh but our first interaction i wanted to hug him i wanted to hug on him and kiss on him but he was ready to go he he said bye to them and, and he was at the door before i was and uh I got him in the car and he went, he took a nap. He went to sleep. So he at least felt comfortable enough in the car to go, all right, I'll sleep in front of these people. <laughs> <laughs> so he was comfortable. Uh, and, and like I said, I didn't love on him really until it was time to, to get him in the house. He came in, he took a shower, you know, I bought him some night clothes. Oh, shoot. Can you I'm hear sorry. me now, Ty? Yeah, hold on. Just wanna... Yeah, um, hold on. My connection Hello. dropped. Hold on just one second. Hold on. My, if Gerard, if you can hear me, you want to get back in the queue. Hold on just one second. I'm sorry, y'all. Shit. My connection dropped. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if y'all connection, but it's, it seemed like it's taking y'all a while to get on the panel. I apologize, y'all. My connection. <laughs> My connection dropped. Okay, y'all still here? Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. That's my fault. I apologize. I don't know what happened. My shit dropped. Um, Gerard and Velvet, come just come back in the queue because I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all back down. Hold on, let's see. And then I'm gonna bring y'all back up. Hold on, let me see where y'all at. Oh my goodness, what is this doing? That that was my fault. You fine. <laughs> yeah, um, let me put you back in the big box. But your question.
it was a it was a cool meeting and he was and he was pretty he was happy and and I think I was happy and and it was a good night. Okay, that is so wonderful. I got Scorpio Sniper coming up. Hey, Gerard. Oh, <laughs> hey. Hey, Ty had like them. First of all, let me say, Gerard, um, <laughs> I know sometimes, just me as a person, sometimes my, my thoughts and opinions can come across as, um, um, as a bit harsh. So let me apologize to you if I made you feel um, no, 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 no. You never apologize. You will never apologize to me. The way you came off is if if is somebody who concerned. I listen. I'm 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 not timid. I've been around enough strong women and strong black women to know when when you're being malicious and when you're not. And you never were malicious. You told me exactly what I needed to hear as a person who hasn't been around his son and as a person who was thinking about himself. And not the well-being of his son. Don't ever apologize for that. You were absolutely one hundred percent right for that. Okay. Well, it's because be I, the sister wife, by the way. I, so right, you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, but you know, it, it just came from a place of I, uh, my father was not around for many years due to my own mother's actions, and then my brother took a back seat to his own son's life because he had a, a baby's mother that was very vindictive as well. So I'm like, I'm. it was personal for me. It's like, no, stop allowing these females to dictate what type of relationship you're going to have with your kids, be involved, go, you know, so I'm glad, um, I'm glad you did your thing. I'm 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 glad that 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 you yeah. you didn't take a back seat. I'm I'm glad you worked your set behind the scenes. Um, you're like a dope guy. Your your smile is going from here to there. Um, it, it's it's bittersweet because you know, as a mother, you want the children to be raised with their mother. It's just it's just a natural thing. But um, I think this is best for him. You know, I, I hope. If Muriel is looking in the window, which we know she is, you know, for me personally, I want to see her get, I want to see her get well. I want to see her get better. I want to see her be an active mother in her children's lives. I want to see you, Cooper, Patrick, Muriel, all the kids, your wife. I want to see y'all be each other's village because I think that's what those children are going to need. I don't know if mm -hmm. it's possible, but that's my hope. <laughs> I, 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 and and that's kind of yeah. and that's kind of and that's kind of my thing too and that that was one of the reasons why I wanted you know them not to fight online um her and Cooper but I I had to also realize too that you know what I'm saying I was not previewed to certain things so when I went online and I told you know try to tell Cooper and her to stop I didn't know that she had said something about his mama listen listen oh. If Cooper, if Cooper listen, if Cooper listen, I apologize. When she says something about moms, all gloves is off. I apologize for even coming at him and telling him to stop and chill out because I get that. You don't talk about moms. You know what I'm saying? You don't talk about moms. You don't talk about dads. And so I apologize. I, you know, I've never been able to apologize to Cooper about that, but I apologize about that. Because, oh, uh, parts in the comments, y'all. You breaking up um, again, Gerard. We can't hear you if you're talking. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. All right. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, but you know, with, did you have anything I, else? I, oh, go ahead. No, no, that that was that was just it. I'm I'm glad things are working out. I'm glad things are moving in a a a, a healthy direction. Um, I'm I'm just glad I'm glad for Hezekiah. He looks like he's thriving. You look like you thriving. I know it's a huge adjustment, but like you said, just. Just keep praying about it. Just keep allowing God to guide you. Just keep allowing God to put positive people in your life. Everybody won't have your best interests at heart, but if you allow God to 
to lead you and to guide you and to tell you and to tap into your gift of discernment, then you you won't go wrong. And um, I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad yeah. it worked out. And Thanks again, and again, you and you and and you personally know what's up. I I contacted you on I kind I sent you a message and let you know. I didn't you send did. a lot of people messages, but I I made sure you knew. I you told did, you, and you, I, you, I was you 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 you. you you sniper me with that one for real. You hit my heart <laughs> with that one. You but did. you know what? I had a father that was absent because of my mother. My brother was absent out of my nephew's life because of his baby mama. So I'm like, it 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 it, it was personal. You and I'm like, come on now. You yeah. didn't sound like a bad guy. Yeah. You sound yeah. you sounded like and, a and, and I guy. get it. Nothing she said about you was was bad like i didn't pick up negative vibes like where the fuck is he at come on move it gerard <laughs> so yeah <laughs> and i needed it and, and i and i got moving i got moving i just i just you did. i just said i had to move move i had to just, just you know just like you sniper me in the heart i had to move like a sniper i had to back up aim pay attention and figure out and figure out how i was gonna go forward so thank you and you did it. No, thank, thank you. Now I'm gonna get down because I like to cry. Bye, Gerard. <laughs> All right, now she's she trying to be chose, Gerard. Watch out, she trying to be chose. <laughs> she's so silly. <laughs> and like I said, y'all make sure y'all connection is on point because if you take too long to come up. Or if you know you come up and there's something going on, then you know I'm gonna have to drop you because we got other people needing, and we don't want to yeah. take too much of his time. And and, you, and yeah, you and know I'm you just let me know minute. when you're ready. And I'm probably gonna do another ten minutes. It's almost it's like seven twenty here, uh -huh. so I do it to seven thirty, and then I want to get in there and and hang out. out I with know them. that's right. I know that's right. Well, and 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 truly, since he since he allowed me to do this, I, I don't want to I don't want to take away too much of his time. Right. And um, again, if his mother is in here, he is doing fine, and he does love you. Yeah, I don't. I'm never going to change that in him, and I'm never going to let him feel any type of way about you. And you ain't never got to worry about me talking negative about you, because that ain't that ain't my relationship with you and that you know that's not how i get down i know that's right and, and and that's the right thing you know like i said don't you know don't let that girl take you out of your character and you know take yeah. you off the track that you need to be on to be able to provide and love your son so um yeah. okay i guess that person i hear you go true i'm about to add you up I'm but but you but y'all need to quit calling them. Y'all need to quit calling them villagers. Y'all need to call them children of the corn. <laughs> some of them people is lost. Some of them people acting like zombies and crazy. Yes, they are. Hey, true. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, how y'all doing? Hi, Gerard, and congratulations. Uh, and thank you for being who you are. Just a couple of questions. When is um Hezekiah's birthday? His birthday is July eighth. It's actually it's oh, funny, July. funny you asked me that. Yeah, cancer. Uh, it's it's a couple day man. Let me tell you, I'm so glad I get along with cancers. I love cancers. Some of my I good love friends cancers. are cancers. You know, what I'm saying? a they petted in a mug. So I'm right behind them. They petted in a mug, but boy, I <laughs> love <laughs> some cancers. Amen. And they good petty too. They that good petty. That's they that I'm mad at you for seven years. And you and, and and I ain't getting over it until you apologize. I love cancers, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. And one more question. Um, so for Muriel, does the child support stop? Um, it's so right let, at this point? let me tell let me let me talk about that too. She said that the payments weren't going through, and um, after she said that, I'm gonna I'm gonna be completely honest with you. She told me that. And I went and I got on top of it and I made sure she was getting uh, she got her money. She was getting the money for child support. She I know that's right. To, she never had 
asked twice. So I know those she couple didn't. months. So those couple months that she um that she didn't get, not only did I pay for those couple months, but I also gave her more money and they were taking it out of check. As of right now, she's still continuing to get child support from me until we, we we do a cancellation. Yeah, listen, listen, until I get until we I don't want to talk about what I'm doing, but until until we cancel it out. Yes, she will still be getting it. Don't worry, I'm working on it. Holy but crap. um but but listen, man, my whole thing is I one, I take care of my child, and two, if the mother's asked, I make sure I get it. So that that was I the know thing. that's I was right. Sure and I believe that. It. I believe you. You know, I totally beyond believe all of that, you. And beyond all of that, is it really is just money. Cause money, money cannot make me feel the way I felt when I saw him that damn thursday at, at, at almost eight o'clock i know it at, that, that money ain't going none of that money made me feel the way i felt when i saw him nothing and made, that's my nothing, last question what you just uh, said just there <laughs> that's my last this is my last question when that moment i don't know if you said i came in a lot late but that moment when you brought him and took him to your house and when he saw his new siblings like how was the interaction i, I want to hear all that happy stuff how their was, interaction like, was, was the first their thing? interaction was pretty cool. Uh, my youngest, my youngest son was the one that uh, pulled his stroller right up to him while he was sitting on the couch, and he's and he looked up at him and he just started because he can't say no words, so he started saying right. a little gibber at him. Uh, oh. The other boys were kind of the other boys was kind of in their rooms, and what they said is they want to give him space because of everything that happened. The interactions okay. didn't come until the next day. You know, uh, okay. that's when we kind of, you know, sat down, they gave him his space and then right. it was full on playing video games, hanging out with him, eating together. Uh, he, it was, it was just, they was, you know, on him. Um, my interaction with him came, really came when he was eating and, uh, I was at the table and he was at the table. I wasn't eating. I was just watching him eat. And then he just looked at me watching him eat and he just smiled. And I just smiled <laughs> back at him. And so it was like, oh my we ain't need no words. We was just, it was like, yo, listen, my birthday is July 28th. You owe me a pair of mink eyelashes, okay? Because I cried through this whole live <laughs> and had to destroy my lashes. <laughs> So July 28th, I'm looking for something in the mail. <laughs> I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> and that's all I had to say. God bless you. God bless all of you. You, Gerard, made this whole live happy. You made this whole live happy. Like this, it the, made my day. Listen, we don't. I, I don't. I don't have. I don't. I don't have a. Listen, I've been through too much to to have you know negative things and, and and again i tell you my 17 year old has been and um and so i've learned how to 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 respect certain things and 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 as a dad and i say it like this out of respect for his mom and i know people hated it i do it alone not single and i do it alone out of respect for his mom because his mom is still there even though she isn't present every day, she's still there. And, um, um, but as I was doing it alone, I started to appreciate things and, and women and, and, and singleness and everything, but I don't have no time to be upset. It's, this should be a happy conversation. And, and I think it has been. Mm -hmm. Amen. So thank you for coming up and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And God bless you. Big girl. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm trying to get up. Can y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, now we can. I just wanted to say congratulations um, on the reuniting with your child, with your son. Congratulations. And I just want to let everybody know it is absolutely a lot of strong dads out here and dads who cared. I went through the same situation when I was a little girl with my parents. And guess what? Guess who came to save us from defects? 
Y'all call it uh, DHS, CPS. That's what y'all call it, but it's deep back where I live. Okay. My dad came to save us as well. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it hurt it. It really hurt me when I stepped into this lab and you was here. I just, it just brought some tears down, but I'm going to just get down because I don't like for my kids to see me cry. But I want to say congratulations, <laughs> stay blessed, and keep Thank doing you. you. And, and, and to, to, my more than you're breaking up something that went through Gerard, my mind. That's hard to hear you. I'm is, sorry. If I'm in the okay, you're breaking up real bad. Okay, can you it's hear me like, now? It's real choppy. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. Okay, all right, am I back? Yes, yes. How do it sound now? Okay, you sound great. So, mm -hmm. so that's another thing. That's another thing, too, that 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 I had to deal with, too, is you know, I had to really. I had to really say to myself that he needs me. I haven't been there for eight years and he really needs me now. There's no way I get, listen, only God can give you second chances. I swear to God, only God can give you second chances. And I feel like this is the second chance that he gave me. And, and ain't no way, ain't no way I'm gonna fuck this one up. Ain't no, no way I'm gonna fuck right. this one up. I, I, I mean, sorry for saying it like that, but that's all I kept saying in my head is I ain't messing this one up. And, and you so better they, not, because you know you got me on your ass, Gerard. You know I'm <laughs> going there with and, you. And, 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 and you see Scorpion, Scorpion out there. Scorpio on your ass. Yeah. I'm Scorpio on you so <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> fast. <laughs> you know, we ain't so, so that's one of the things I thought about. I, I said to myself, I can't fail him twice. Especially if God gave me a chance. I can't fail him twice. You bet not want to. You bet not want to. I'm not. Somebody hey, asked, do I want Come full on, custody? I, I do, but it ain't up to me. Right. That's a fact. Hey, boom. Hello, everyone. Hey, y'all. How are you guys doing today? Um, I just want to say last time you were um, in an interview, I asked you a question about um, if you could see yourself in him. And at that time, you you kind of were, you know, still unsure about the whole situation. So now can you look at him and see features, see things that remind yourself of yourself? So feature wise, no. I'm I'm not really good at looking at my me and my wife argue about this all the time because I don't look at my boys and think they look like me. But personality, Jesus, that boy. When I when I say my son is 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 my 17 year old is is very competitional, like and he has that. I think my son is like that because I'm I'm very competitional. I, I competition is like in my heart. Uh, I don't always compete against people. I've always competed. I'm you're normally competing with myself, but I see things in his personality that's like my other boys. That's like mm -hmm. me. So, I, mm -hmm. so the more that I'm watching him, I see certain things as he talks and as he do things. Um, that's like me. That like like the whole not backing down, even though how small he is, that was me. You know. Um, <laughs> so it's things. You know what I'm saying? His mouth is all his mama. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. You know, I can see me and I can see her in him. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'll manage that. I can manage that that stuff with him. But yes, I'm starting awesome. to see some things. That is awesome. And last thing, I don't want, I don't have another question. I just want to big you up for doing the work you were supposed to do while he was growing up, because had you not done that work with therapy and, you know, ensuring that you're emotionally intelligent, you wouldn't have been prepared to just step up the way you did. So all the things that have happened, that's water under, under the bridge. And so I just want to big you up for, you know, ensuring that you are emotionally okay. So kudos to you. Yeah, and and I recommend other men too that yo you you need to figure check that out because it, that that allows me to not be up here and say anything negative about her. That's also allowed me to 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 you know be in a unsure situation. Like I I was nervous to go and see him, but I think that therapy and a lot of stuff and friends and stuff helped me uh, to deal with certain things. Hey, Juicy. 
I'm not sure. That's why y'all want to, you know, come up, make mm -hmm. sure that y'all connection is on point. Um, nobody else is in the queues. Or did anybody else have any questions before he go? Because he only got a couple more minutes. Okay, hold on just for a second. There you go. Hey, Cooper, how you doing? Yes. I mean, Gerard, yeah, Gerard. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I would get offended if I ain't like Cooper. I think Cooper is a cool dude. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was wondering, did you ever look at the videos where um it was bought out house? I hate to say it, but I just want to know that Samaya was touching on him. Did you ever see those videos? So so I'm I'm glad you brought that up because I'm a I'm gonna talk about certain things. I, and like again, so, I said I'm I'm sorry I didn't mean to bring that up, but I just wanted to know. I'm sorry. No, no, and just no, mute no, yourself, no, Granny, because it's an echo. Okay, I'm gonna drop so, down. So it's all right, it's cool that you brought that up because um that's one of the things i didn't do is i didn't let my wife watch any of the videos and i didn't watch my boys watch any of the videos the one thing is i didn't want them to have a level of anger or anything so i asked them could they please not watch it or try to look it up and they respected my wishes i wanted when hezekiah came into the house they looked at him as hezekiah and not what hey, he had been going through in this house. We did talk about some things, but we didn't go into great detail. They trust they trust that I can hold certain things and I'll give them the information they needed. So with that being said, um, I did watch some videos as much as I could because some videos is just too much for me as a as a dad and, and as a thing. But there are certain things that I, I he will be going to therapy for because there's some things that I can deal with and there's some things that I can't deal with. I've never been touched. If he was touched, I've never been touched. So that's that's an area I can't help him with. So I'm going to need somebody that's more professional than myself to talk to him to reveal some things. He's been I know through some videos he's been coached. So to decoach him, I have to, he needs to go to therapy so somebody can help him decoach you know, some of the things that have been going on. So there's some things that I do. I am, he will be going to therapy, um, but I haven't even had him a week yet. Uh, and I ain't got him in school yet. So all of that stuff gonna come in time. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, Hi, Ty and Black Velvet. Hello. Hello, Gerard. How are you? I don't have a question. I just want to say congratulations. My heart is so full for my baby Hezekiah. I'm telling you, that's my boy. Ooh, him and Matthew, those is my two. So when you do get that list going, please make sure that these ladies get it in their inbox. Because, honey, I am going to load up. I, ooh, you just don't know. I am just so elated because he's I okay. Am. And to know the things that he heard about you in the past and just look at you guys now, man, I can just, I can just see the future, man. You just don't know. I am. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the list together. Uh, somebody is going to help me uh, put a list together and, and help and, and get me going. I'm not, I'm not used to anything. I'm not used to it, but um, I did, I did say, you know, out of out of a natural respect for for certain people, I did say I was going to come back on here and give an update. So I've I've done two updates right now, and I said I was going to do three. So it, there is a third one I'm going to do out of respect. Uh, I did ask Hezekiah. I always ask that little dude, "Is he okay with doing it?" So right. I, hopefully, by the time I do that last one, it will be up. I'm I promise to work on it. Okay, well, take your time, but I just, you know, like I said, make sure the ladies get it, because like I said, I'm just so happy, and you know, that way they can get things, and summertime's coming up, if he ain't got a bicycle, mm -hmm. I'm your girl, I'm <laughs> telling you, I want this child to have a we, childhood, I want him we, to we, do things that yeah. little boys do. 
we go we go we gonna get them together uh and, and, and when i mean that i mean the family and and, and if y'all want to give anything that's that's because he he again man he's a good kid and he deserves he, he deserves it um, he do i'm looking forward i'm looking forward to this snow being gone so we can you know figure it out we are me and my wife and and this is off the this is off the topic and i'm about to get off when i after i say this um now I got six boys so it's six boys so um <laughs> Uh, with six boys and we like taking family vacations. We we love hanging out with the boys. So now I got to look at a bigger vehicle. Um, and uh, I'm a, I, I've been fighting my wife for, for about a year or so about getting a minivan. And we going to we take so we can get the stand that the world is way bigger than the city. Okay. Well, you All just right. enjoy Can it. You Thank me? you for letting me come up, guys. I appreciate it. I just wanted to let you know. Take your time getting it done because we still, trust and believe, we still going to be here for Hezekiah. Believe me. So take your time and get settled and everything, but we still going to be here and enjoy. Thank you so much. No problem. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can, can you hear me. Yeah, yeah right, we can yeah. hear you. I was, I was just saying. I was just saying we're gonna be taking some trips when the weather break. It's it's still snowing here, but I can't wait. We love taking the boys out for new experiences and, and he gonna have a lot of new experiences. We like to go hiking, we like to go swimming, we like to go to the lakes, we like to we like to learn new things, see new stuff. And here in Michigan, we like to go up north and, and hang out in the forest. You know what I'm saying? We do all type of stuff. I'm into my boys being boys. So I'm 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 excited for him to get used to life outside of just the 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 uh the city. Trying to go on so, vacation with y'all. This sound like fun no, to me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> man, we have listen, listen, we have man, we have a ball. Um we do. We but but again I, a book I read, um, and I and I apply it to my life. Raise your kids like like keep like people you like. So if you raise your kids like people you like, you want to be around them, and it's easy to do vacations and do trips. You know what I'm saying? We we'll, we can come up with the money, but those times of you know being in a room, being in a hotel room, or being in a cabin, you know what I'm saying? Just what for them. You know, watching VHSs because we we got a lot of forests out here that don't have internet reception. That's what I really like. When the kids don't can't be on the internet, and all they gotta watch is VHSs, and they get back to just hanging out and campfires. I like doing that with the boys because we don't know how. I don't know my boys getting older and they're gonna be out of the house, and I don't know how many times they're gonna be able to do stuff like that. So I appreciate times like that. So heck yeah, I'm waiting for. The weather to break for us to take trips and it's and, you, and the way you sound Gerard, it's just like you you sound so happy and like filled with joy and i'm just like i appreciate that i really do like i, I really love this this moment right here this is you know because like i said look out here is my boy i cannot stress it <laughs> long <laughs> enough i really can't because i, I don't play when it comes to him you know what i'm saying when they <laughs> were saying that somebody came over to my live talking about hezekiah in the corner i went over there and said, get my son out that dang corner <laughs> or on the wall or wherever she put him on so, listen you know, I listen i don't care shit. what i don't care what nobody <laughs> say listen i don't care what nobody say i'm 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 always a certain way uh but that video was funny i'm gonna not lie to you I, I i he was only trying to irritate her by repeating everything she said you know if i was in the house as a dad i would have been like hey you stop doing that later on in the night i would have probably told him that was kind of funny but don't do that to your mom because you don't want her to go off and i ain't got time for to be getting in trouble for laughing that's how i would have handled it <laughs> Right. But it was kind of funny, and y'all know it. Mm -hmm. 
Because she said, what? Hit the wall. And he hit the wall. He, he, he going to hit the wall. Right. <laughs> that boy. That's that boy. Lovely. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, all right. I'm going I'm to get off of here and I'm going a, I'm to a get in there and cook for him and, and hang out with him um, no, right. for the rest of the and night. It, and again, thank you so, 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 so much for um, you. being updated with everything. I appreciate yeah, and thank it. You. And thank you for being and thank you for being understanding about certain things, even when, you know, what I'm saying I came to you and I talked to you on, on, on the back end, you were willing to, yo, this is between me and you, yo, I'll share this with very limited people. And even your your words of just be careful. I, those yeah. were were great. So you've been a solid, you know, what I'm saying I'm, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've only I'm on this. I've only came in the interview with solid people. I've only talked right. to solid people that was good on the back end and whatnot. So I right. wouldn't even did this if I didn't think you were a, 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 a good person. And and I I sat back and I listened to some things you said. But Ooh. all right. And I, and I uh, thank you for I need that. To get off thank of here. You. Okay, yeah. You know, <laughs> it's food and shit. So yeah. And we yeah. So, like, 